song. I wrote that song, by the way. <laughs> Here comes some feedback. I know it was the last time we saw some feedback. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dan Tries Cooking. This week, everybody, we are going to try to make some crispy zucchini parmesan crispy bites that go in the oven. <laughs> I think I got all the words. Maybe not in the right order, but I think I got all the words correct on that one. Baked parmesan zucchini crisps. Right. That's exactly what I thought I had said. <laughs> Almost. Um, also, we have the evil Knievel stunt bike ramp here. Uh, we're going to see if we can jump over zucchini palace. Shoo. Boom. Remember when he lands all you old people out there and he just ragdolls off of that thing? Oh my gosh. What an idiot. So hardcore. All right. Yeah, so how's everybody doing tonight? I hope you guys are all doing well out there. I just see there was a super chat from Helen. Let's see what she said up there. Hi, Dan and Crystal, everyone in the chat. Hopefully you all are doing well. I am. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Today we just have a regular uh, familiar setup. It looks like the Gideon Baker Crystal setup here. Because uh, I don't want to be bothered doing all this. I want to hang out and have fun and do some zucchini stuff. Uh, we decided to go light this week. I didn't want to make a super crazy meal just because I didn't want that. I wanted to kind of hang out and just make some snacky things and, and chill for a little bit with you guys. And uh, this is what we're going to do. The thing though, before we get started, I want to tell you about that's really super important if you guys want to make this thing. And let me know in the chat if you guys are, are baking a lot. I have not even looked down at the chat, so I don't know why I'm asking you to let me know. Crystal's going to have to help me read the chat for a second. Is Make sure you get zucchinis and you don't get cucumbers. <laughs> Because you'll have to go back into the store and explain to the lady at the register why you got cucumbers instead of zucchini. Is that what happened? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm asking for a friend. Oh, okay. I didn't hear this so, story from no, a friend. No, I didn't tell you. I just did But we were just there, what, Sunday? And I pointed to the zucchinis and was like, look, zucchini in there. So here's how I work. I don't know if you've seen the movie Terminator. I had this little crosshair. It was like, and it was like I it identified green, green stick. Green stick, and, and the only other thing that it needed to know was green stick, not eggplant, boom. Off I go. Not eggplant. Yes. What color do you think eggplant is? It's not any, like, that's what I'm saying. As soon as it identifies <laughs> it, boom. So, yeah, so uh, zucchinis. Uh, so my advice out there is zucchini, not cucumber. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, Amanda with the super yes. chat says, use the guide for the mandolin. It will cut your fingers. So... We've had this for years and never once used it. So we thought that we should give it a shot. But here's the thing. It has a guide, but it holds it way up here. And that's a bit big for a zucchini. So I think we'll pop it on once we get towards the end. Question mark? Because I, I don't see how this is going to be practical because it's kind of wonky in here. And look, I just wanted the simplest mandolin possible. Careful with your hands because I, a guard. I know that this is bad news. It is sharp. When I was using it, it like cut the paper towel. It oh yeah. It is, it is so sharp. Yeah. It's absolutely really, it is, really sharp. It is, uh, it is so, it is super, super sharp. Uh, uh, super chat from, uh, Husky Tales 101. What up RFS fam? Hashtag support train. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tonight's going to be fun. I can't wait to get these things in the oven and then most importantly into my mouth. And then, uh, later I'm going to play with the cats because Husky Tales 101 sent us some cat stuff. Yeah. yeah, we'll get them to do some tricks. By tricks, I mean they do whatever they want. The trick is to keep them in the kitchen. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So, okay. I don't think you posted the recipe, but I have a recipe. It's on your Pinterest. My note, I had to go look it up because I know I sent this to Sandy after I made it last time. My note to her was to cut the amount of flour and the amount of breadcrumbs in half because it makes way too much if you follow the recipe. Right, because so. we've done this before. When I say we, I mean Crystal's done this before. And... When, when last time we did this, which does take a little bit of time, you had all kinds of ideas for the next time. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I think we wanted them thinner, maybe, or we wanted. That's what them... I'm wondering. So I always just slice them by hand, which or, I, I or might end up. I know what that did. Hold on, I have to move this keyboard because Mooch is <laughs> Mooch is slowly pushing it to the ground. I know what it was. It took us too long to cut the zucchini. And there no, were, I don't think the cutting were, takes a long time. And they were time. uneven. Well, that's why we're doing this. It says to cut them a quarter inch, so I'm going to cut a couple at a quarter inch, and we'll see how we feel about it. Do we need to turn on the oven or not yet? Because we have a lot of breading to do. We should probably turn on the oven just to make sure okay. that it's ready in time. And, and again in the chat, can you let me know if any of you guys are making this at home? Everybody saying hi and saying stuff. I, I have not looked really to see what's <laughs> going on in there. Hi, everybody. Does that cover all hi, of it? Hi, everybody. Oh. Anna says to cut the zucchini in half and then use the guard. See, I still feel like that's even a half a zucchini that's up in the air. Well, I'm going to try it without it. As long as my fingers are way out of the but way. Look how cool this thing is. It's it all is, like and it will be head. handy once it's smaller. But... but but at some point, can we try this? Absolutely. What if we just cut a chunk off and then try it, and then cut a chunk oh, off and try it? It says front and back. I think. 
that's why I don't use it. Oh, and Maybe then it, not, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then it pushes it on there. I'm well, really, I am really ranged up like, like worried about yeah, this. Yeah, no, thing. it has to go down this way. Oh. Yeah, that side goes down lower. So yeah, All it right. has to go that way. All right. And then you just, okay. like that. It's a little clunky, but. All right. This looks fun. That looks fun. Just the that version. looks fun. That looks fun. I'm okay with this. Okay. Um, I feel like we should, okay. We slice it and then you have to leave the zucchini for 20 minutes. Like alone? In paper towels. Yeah, remember we, we lay out paper towels we, and we put the zucchini, you have to like get all the moisture out of it, otherwise it'll be soggy. Oh, well, let's, so let's, step let's, one is to slice zucchini. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay, all right. well, step one is actually to wash our zucchini. Right, um, actually, I can juggle zucchini. Please don't throw the zucchini, please. <sighs> You're no fun. I'm excited for this thing that we've never okay. used. Have you ever used this thing? No, and I've had it for literally years. Um, How many years? Like 10 years? No, but several. Probably like at least five. Mm -hmm. I asked for it for Christmas, but from the picture online, you couldn't tell that it was so ginormous. And I was just like, oh, I want one of these. And it's KitchenAid. That's the one I want. But I, I've i seen them in the store, and they're just li I just want a little version of this and just pull it out and slice the things real quick. And that's not what this is. This is a whole big thing. Hannah says, I learned by working in a kitchen to cut them kind of diagonally. Hard to explain. Almost like we're not doing it flat, like we have to cut it on an angle and then do it on an angle. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so Kathy I, says, I just use a knife. It's easy. No, no, no. We're, we're using the fun tools. We're using <laughs> we're using power tools today. I, I feel like I will resort back to the knife. That's how I usually do it. And I can cut pretty even. You actually comment on how evenly I cut them most of the time. Right. Um. So I think on an angle means like... This first cut should be at an angle. Yes. And okay. then the whole thing will be at an angle. Okay. And what is it? Is zucchini still a cucumber, right? It's like tomorrow's cucumber? No, it's a zucchini. You're thinking pickles. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's probably the only thing that I could think of on an angle. <laughs> okay, but then it's just going to fall on the No, you can get, bottom. like, we need a conveyor belt. <laughs> we need a conveyor belt, like, get a like service merchandise. All right, please be careful. I would just do one test run. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, that is so thick. I don't want them that thick. No way. I want them like I want them like way thin. I want them like way thin so they're crispy. Cause so after a while they kind of get a little mushy. Which I like zucchini sticks. Um, we we have this place called um. Okay, let's see the difference in the sizes. Even that. Ah. Even that I think. Oh wait, hold on. Where <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? Even that I think is uh. Too thick still. Yeah. 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 Try try one more. Try one more thinner, please. Um, sometimes we get, <laughs> that one shot off. sometimes we get zucchini that's really thin. sticks. Oh, uh, see, that's way more like it. That's you on that thin. Yeah, I think so. What do you think? I think so because I think they'll sure. crunch up. Um, and, and then they're, they're nice. They're nice and breaded. They're thin, but then sometimes we get them at places where they're cut in triangles and they have like liquid in them when we try to get the deep fried, um, zucchinis and they're not good. So I like more of a crunch and a dry zucchini than a wet zucchini. Uh, Hannah says, yeah. um, if you cut them in half at the angle, they are easier to manage. Um, I think we're okay like this. Look. And then my fingers aren't over the blade. Oops. Here, let me put them where the focus point is. Here, I think I can the focus point. I mean, I will say this is much faster than using a knife. Yes. And I'm okay with that so we can get the bread in them. That looks fun. Okay, you're making me nervous now. Could you please use the thing? Yeah, but I'm not and really the thing sure. just looks fun. But before you put it on there, you gotta smash it on there. I was trying to figure out the angle at which that was going to happen. I'm excited. <laughs> I guess it would help if I turned the knife the right way. <laughs> <laughs> we've had this thing for, like you said, we've had this thing for years, and we've just never. <laughs> the internet says, I'm so nervous for you both. Honestly, it's it looks. Nope. <laughs> it's slid. It looks pretty okay. <laughs> It catches on that. Does this lock down? No, because it's not supposed to. It's a guard so you don't oh. cut your fingers off. Oh, look at how illegal this is. So in a lawsuit video, when they watch this and see that I pulled the guard back. <laughs> yeah, it's not their problem. No. But we do have even. They're very even. And that's important for me because zucchinis are all on the borderline. Oh, it looks like topo snack. And hey, do that somewhere else. On top of my cabinet. Um, when I eat them, I don't want them to be slimy. I don't like the slime. Okay, we have another one to chop, but I need to get these out of the way and start putting them on some paper towels. To... Okay, here's the stunt ones over here. Why are they stunt ones? I don't know, because they're like the test, the test ones. 
All right, so you're gonna put the paper towels on here. Yes, that's, that's the end of the roll. I have a new roll, I hid it over I here. I got it. Oh. I found your secret hidden paper towels. All right, so then just lay them out? Yeah, I'll just lay them out. I'm ch I got dibs on chop in the next one. Do you? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, power tools. Oh my gosh. You should save two of these so we can put them on our eyes. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're gonna have, no, that's cucumbers. We're gonna have a lot of these. You cannot spread them out so much. They have to be like right up against each other. Okay. And then we'll put paper towels on top and kind of like squish a little bit. Okay. And that'll get all the moisture out. So yeah, they should be like that. Sorry guys, I'm having like tripod You're having issues. What? What's wrong? You like shut down. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm adjusting <laughs> the camera. I like overcompensated for where we were going to be here. <laughs> and it's not always the easiest to adjust this can thing. Can you move that over so I can see more of like who's chatting? Uh, yeah, hold on just a second. What are you doing? Oh, it's getting stuck underneath this thing right here and moving us over. Okay. There. I just wanted it to be there so I can... Here's the chat back. And then I can move the camera over and go back where usually you are. Fox so, 6 Wall is telling me not to do it for you and I'm not sure which part I'm... Oh, probably all of it. I, I, got, I got dibs on the next one because I... Okay. I want to cut the things. You can't screw it up because I, I am... It, it, Makes it the size. I am exactly, uh, I'm excited that these are exactly the same. Freddie and Riley says, I haven't used mine yet. Uh, they just got one for Christmas. Oh, nice. Is it this giant one? You should use it before... <laughs> five years goes before by. Before five years goes by, <laughs> right. It has literally been in the closet. It looks nice and brand new because... I didn't even have room for it in the because kitchen. Because it is. Because it's so big. Because it, it is. Right, right. So these are on here for the purpose of just drying. We're gonna have to collect them and then bread them and then put them back on one of these. Yeah, we'll, just we will make the breading. Okay. Okay, so I can pick this thing up. So Amanda, if you're listening, <laughs> what when you use one of these machines, is this the same thing? Or do you use like an industrial one or or what? Like, I know there's gotta be like a bigger one of these machines. Oh, for sure. Okay, <laughs> cut it at an angle. Okay, right here on an angle? That's not an angle. Oh, that kind of an angle. Okay. So that's sharp. It is a knife. Don't touch yourself. Just cut it. Okay. I, I did it. Okay. Okay. Now, hang on. Can I can smish mash it on the machine? Wait, wait, wait. You got to put a catcher under it. So there's your plate. Man, you're going to stab me with that paring knife if that's you're insanely lucky. sharp. Can I do it now? Do I have permission? You can do it now. Watch your fingers. I'm standing here to get everybody anxiety. <laughs> Ooh, that's wait, wait, very smooth. It, yeah, have it at the angle. I like that better. Oh, that's rewarding. You can just oh. come. You don't have to lift it. You can just go back and forth. Yeah, but I'm not. You, did you break this? What? I moved it. Move it out of the way. Move it. Don't put your finger there like that. It's supposed to bounce back. Though. Oh my gosh. But you don't have to lift it in between. You can just slide back and forth. Well, that's how I do it. Okay. Because I am not sliding things back and forth on this razor blade. <laughs> okay. This is fun. Oh, and it's so like like even oh my gosh what happens if i turn it this way then you cut it that angle but keep oh, it flat like yeah keep it's... it flat against there okay that's that's better it's smooth it's rewarding what's going on in the chat are everybody nervous for me <laughs> yeah foxy koala says uh oh i see blood happening on the no <laughs> i'm good foxy koala i'm good because i'm trying to make sure i go slow because if i go back and forth i'm definitely going to slip and have an accident but now i feel like but it's... back is against the okay <laughs> Hannah says the one I used in college was a small handheld one took forever with how much I had to cut for prep. This is this is yeah. making me nervous enough. Like I'm I'm nervous enough with this. That's the protector so you don't slide down. No, just doing this. Because okay. every time it goes by I can feel it cutting. And yeah, that, it cuts really easily. And that could be me. <laughs> Hannah says you're gonna take forever. Hannah did you see how quickly I did it? I'm doing, look how awesome. No, I'm doing you it. You went so is, slow it didn't even fall out. <laughs> this is what I do. This is so much quicker than when you cut it with a knife. Absolutely. Okay, stop. Okay. You're getting too close. Yes. Cut the other end off. Okay. 
At the same. Wait, no, no. At the same angle. Match the angle. Move your hand, please. Can you, no, Wait, no. Stop. Please do I'm not touch the to knife when I have the knife on my hand. Take the knife here and That's slide fine. it over. Please, please don't do that. Like this. But you have to cut the end off. Yeah. Right there. Yes. Okay. You're scaring me. <laughs> the, this thing is like, shouldn't be sold this sharp. And at the same time, I love how sharp it is. Okay. But I'm smashing it on here. But don't smash it all the way on there. Like, just get it a little bit on there and then put it Should on here. Should you on the fatter side? I set it on here first. Like, smash. Like. But you want to make sure you have the right angle. No, no, no. Let's see, the front's yeah. here, so it needs to... Yeah, it's on the angle. Yeah. And it just plugs in? It, it like... If you have it straight, see, okay, it bam. does that. Okay, because it pops all the way And up. then you push this as you're doing it. Oh, this is way more safer. I feel like I'm running a credit card in the 80s. <laughs> oh my gosh, American Express. Don't, you can't lift it because it's gonna get under this. I don't like this, I don't like that. KitchenAid, who's who's in charge of KitchenAid? I don't like that. You can try that part. You, like, I'm, I'm gonna marvel over my, I mean, I'm, my name's not Julian, so I can't call him Julian. They have more marks than you have, might have little lines on it. Just, like you took my plate. Just, uh, just give up on that little butt. Just give up on that little butt of the thing. Oh no! Stick your hand Stop out it. like that. <laughs> ah, I can't look. Chris, your you anxiety me. freaks me out. I can't deal with it. What? Your anxiety freaks me out. Oh my god! I learned it by watching you. <laughs> All right, so we have to set two of these aside What's for wrong our with eyes. This one. I don't know. Look at this one here. This one's got like the the. The this, marks this, on it because I freaked out and I pushed too hard because I was scared. This one has too many holes and it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, it's Swiss. It's Swiss zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> it's Swiss zucchini. <laughs> Hannah with the super chat said you were doing great. Thanks, Hannah. Okay, so now put the rest of them on here. It's because I watched Julia Child. Yours, you went at way more of an angle than I did, so yours are way longer. Some of them, apparently. Yes, yes. Which mine look pretty when they're on that angle. But now I've messed up the, I've messed up, look at, I've messed up the feng shui. <laughs> look the at this The math one. of how many you're going to fit. This one's just oval. It looks like a name badge. Oh, look, I'm Hannah and I work at Best Buy. <laughs> Doesn't work at Best Buy anymore. My name's on the plaque, maybe. All right, where's jury still out on that? <laughs> All right. This is good. You poked a lot of holes in it. I'm not sure. You, if that was on your dirty apron, it is not. No, stop. Oh, now you don't know if it's that one or this one. It's that. Stop. <laughs> oh, I told you before we started your apron was dirty. You don't get to put food on it. It's it's wrinkled. I'm embarrassed. I, I hung it up right over there after I was what? done last week. And then, like, now it's wrinkled. I don't know why. It's hanging out by the washing machine. You'd think it'd get clean. <laughs> you'd think you'd throw it in with a load. <laughs> yes. Mathematically, I don't know that I can get the rest of these on here. Ah, huh, look at it. That's, that's so many. So many. It's an army of Because we cut them so much zucchini. thinner than we usually But look how do. yours are compared to where we get to mine. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, sums up my, that sums up my life. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, these ones are wonky <laughs> shapes and thicknesses. It is sucks because I keep on wanting to throw one, you know, either underneath my eyes or, like, in my mouth. That's cucumber. But it's not the right thing. It's not the right thing. We just laying in front of the screen. Uh, hand out the super chat. Speaking of the plaque, I didn't read that twice because it was plague at first. <laughs> Apparently, no one I worked with at this store anymore. So now I'll never know. Oh, so you have to bust into the back of the break room, kick down the door, punch idea box in the head, and then, and then uh, you take a picture of the plaque. I'm gonna do a second layer. You're done, Mooch. <laughs> so literally, this is all you do. Is you okay. just want to absorb all the right. the moisture out of it. And it does make a lot. That's only two zucchinis, and those yes. are medium sized zucchinis. But they only came in a three pack, which is odd. You know. So we'll do something else with the other ones at some point. Uh, no, because it usually just goes rotten. Because like, <laughs> after this, I'm not gonna want any more zucchini. Right. Like that's the thing. You know, I'm not gonna wanna. I'm not gonna wanna. Uh... Sam wants to know if Mooch will eat zucchini. I don't know if he's allowed to. He'll eat carrots. Hey, Mooch. He's over there. He's coming this way again. He's already working on how to get back over here. He is. Com he's coming back over here. Come on. How are we going to put him? Uh, in my arms? Oh, my gosh. You just throw him around like a satchel. Yeah, he just is okay with it. Hey. I mean, he's not going to eat the whole thing. He's not a koala. 
Yep, he's licking it. Mooch is smart. Mooch will always take the lick first and then figure out if he likes it. I think he's trying to figure out how to take a bite of it. Let's right. See. I, um... Do you want that? I, uh... Yeah, Mooch likes to get... Oh, you spit it out. I know, like, Topo, um, if I have hot sauce, especially the Mighty Sauce, I'll put it near Topo's nose and he'll smell it and he'll... <laughs> spitting it out. He'll air gag and then he'll go away where Mooch will lick it first and figure out if he likes it or not. But that's why his name's Mooch. Yeah. Ever the opportunist. Absolutely. Yeah, there's Topo back there, I don't know, in the corner. Now I'm stuck and he just wants to snuggle. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Dan, drinking anything tonight? I have black cherry fizzy drink and um, I see some cherry Pepsi calling my name over there in just a little bit. Actually, I'll keep this off camera because it is more. ugly. So why do we wait? Um, do we start mixing our crumbly crumb stuff things? Yeah, um... Can I oh, put this somewhere else for a minute? 18 minute timer. Ooh, 18 minutes. All right. Well, yeah, it's 20, but it's been at least two minutes. Oh, I oh, caught it. Geez. I caught it. It reminded me of a paper at the end of the video where the, or at the end of your sitcom at, on, on uh, like, like, you know, at 830 where he'd pull the paper out and it would go do, 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 and it would go was to that, a leaf. Was that the Lorimar one or I something? think it was Lorimar. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and I caught it before I hit the ground so it gets to live again. Okay. He's trying. He's not mad at it, but he did spit out the piece I tried to get. Oh, now you just want to rub your face on it. Get <laughs> someone who looks too. at you the way Mooch looks at you. <laughs> I'm saying. But this is it. This is what we're doing now. Okay, well, I can instruct you. Okay, let's 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 do this. Okay, let's do so this. get two of the square Tupperware bowls, because those work the best. Um, look, these the, ones here? The deeper ones. These ones here? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now bring them over here. Okay, one is gonna get three eggs. I did not take those out. Eggs? Yes. Did I tell you how I just recently learned today to juggle eggs? No. I'm gonna take your word for it. So three? Three, please don't drop them or juggle them. Oh my God, watching you is making me so nervous. Why are you doing it wrong? I like came back with eggs. How do I do that wrong? Like how you is that like wrong? You were like two-handedly doing it. Hang on. Okay. Get... Either one. Yeah. Okay. And crack the eggs into it and then dump them in there. Well, why can't I just crack the eggs in there? Because if you get shell in there, then that's not how we do things. Yeah. One. Two. Open. Now he wants to know what you're doing. I'm cracking eggs, Mitch. Two, ha uh, ha ha. Three, oh no, I can't handle more cats. Oh my gosh, Julia Childs did not have this problem in her show. Just one time. Oh, it's a run by kitten. Okay, I'm tossing this. I'm tossing this. All right. George, so, with the super chat, she just walked in the door from work. Ow, I want to know what we're doing tonight. Uh, we're making fried baked, baked zucchini, baked, baked parmesan zucchini bits. I'm um, just straight up into one of these. Just right here. Yes, one of those is just going to get eggs. Shonk. Gotcha. And then you're gonna, if you want to get your tiny whisk or a fork, you're gonna like beat them. Okay, tiny whisk it is. <laughs> I think <laughs> that is my favorite. All right. So when a problem comes along, I must whip it. I have to whip it so it becomes strong, otherwise it'll fall flat later. That's what she said last night on David Letterman. When we were watching, for some reason there was a 45 minutes of Julia Child, who's a real person. On the Letterman show. Who's a real person? Did you think she well, was not? Well, I didn't know she was like a kid. You know, she's on the late night show telling jokes and stuff like that. All right. Let so me see. I don't think anything gets added to that. I think that's just eggs. I'm doing that. Oh, Amanda, said, Amanda, you said something earlier, but I didn't get a chance to read it. Something about AJ, I didn't get to see it, um, but then Amanda super chatted. Crystal, I got all the ingredients for Friday. Amazon delivery, what? the special corn syrup today. Awesome, did ours come? Uh, I didn't see anything unless there's something on the porch. Or maybe did something come today? Uh, a box came today from Amazon, a big box, but it might have been my hairspray. Because we have to order That's it. It's not supposed to come until Friday. Okay. okay. What are we doing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you can't pick He's them up like that. way too heavy to be picked up um, one-handed. Dan got to whip it, whip it good. Is that, am I doing it right? <laughs> Or are you just saying? Um, a big box came today from Amazon, and I think it was my hairspray. Okay, I was supposed to get a little box. I didn't open it, though. It didn't have my name on it. <laughs> no, because I ordered it with my name. She was real huge in the 70s, yeah. I gotta learn how to fold it. Well, I gotta, of course, know when to hold them, but... <laughs> it does say it was delivered today. 
Is it? It might be, it might be in the mail. Okay, so it might or on the front porch. It might be. You can take a run to the front porch outside. and see in a minute. Okay. Well, I don't need it at the moment. So I okay. did this. I'm going to preheat the oven. Okay. It goes to 400. Right, 400? 400. Okay, I'm okay with that. Okay, so in your other one, we're going to cut the, the breadcrumbs and the flour in half so we don't have a bunch of extra. You're going to do a half a cup. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and grab the half a cup and the... Uh, no, just the half a cup would be good. Of the of the mixer thing? Of the cups? Measuring cups, yes. Do I use these ones or do I use yours? It does not matter. But you just need the half a cup one. You don't have to get them all out. Quarter cup. A third of a cup. We're getting closer. <gasps> found it. Found it, found it, found it. She, Amanda said that she had said that AJ's belly laughing in the background and she's loving the sound of it. That's awesome. Crystal, Crystal's humor uh, gets kids laughing. Okay. <laughs> this, do what now? Okay, so, no this. Start with a half a cup of flour and put it in the other one. Don't put anything in the egg one. That one's done. Alright, so put it in here and then scrape up. Oh, wait. But I don't feel like it's packed. It's no, you be... don't want it to be packed. Okay. You never want flour to be I packed. Like the... You loosely scoop it. You're supposed to actually scoop it into your measuring cup with a spoon, but it's so time consuming. Don't we have a I sifter? Do we do. We're supposed to use our sifter. I know. I used it the first time, and then I, I always forget. But you don't have to sift it for this. This that's not One cup? Yeah, but that's not a cup. Look. No, that's a half a cup, first of all. But don't pack it. It didn't fill. There it goes. There you go. That was better. Yeah, good job. Okay, now just one of these? Yes. Poof. Okay, and then it calls for a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Uh-huh. I usually do a mix of the panko and the Italian style, or the like we regular breadcrumbs. No, no, no. Um, it's off? No. Oh, okay. Because you're going to pour into there. Yeah, okay. You're not going to scoop. All right. Um, if you want to do all panko, you can. It's up to you. No, uh, you do in part Italian style. But because this yeah, is but where... I did get this time I got the then Italian let's, panko. Let's try that because some I've, I remember them being a little bit too too much about the outside flavor and not necessarily enough about the zucchini. That's not going to affect the flavor. It's the texture because the panko is bigger. No, um, I mean, I think when you did the crumb too much Italian crumbles because you're are, putting no a, I'm telling you these are Italian also yes so maybe just using these okay so you want a cup total <laughs> okay because we're cutting the amount in half how come I didn't just get a cup out because it doesn't you, that way you only dirty one. Oh. oh my god well there's, there's a half a cup and do another one yes whoa Okay. Okay. All right. Now I'm done with this. Yes. Okay. Boom. 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 Yes, we did it. Okay. What's next? Um, I would kind of sift that together. We'll get something better, but for right now, you're just gonna loosely sift that. And then a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper. But you, it's to taste, so you can put like a rough amount in there. It doesn't have to be measured. Okay. Ooh, I hear the bells out there. That means the chicharrones. The chicharrones. Elote. Okay. Now a quarter teaspoon of. So no, but look, those are those ones are hard to measure, so it's to taste. So you can eyeball it. Okay. Well, salt and pepper to taste. All right. Do you tell me when to stop putting salt in? Wait, I thought you. That's probably good. Okay. And then pepper. You guys like carrying a purse? It's it's like holding a small child. But he's just like chilling. He just wants to watch what's happening. This is this is his goal when he climbs on the counter, is just to be able to have a view of what's going on. Okay, and then a teaspoon of oregano. What's going on in the chat? Sure. Push a random red button. Okay, and then oregano. I'm talking about the hospital and Amanda grounded everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, you, would you say this? Uh, a teaspoon? Teaspoon, yes. Which is the smallest one. No, it's not the smallest one. Quarter teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon. Half teaspoon. 
teaspoon. There you go. All right. Uh, oregano in the pan, not in the hand. In the hand. No, the hand. no, no, stop, stop, stop. Take the, unscrew the lid. Like a dip? No. It's not going to fit, but dump it in I'll there. make it fit. No, don't make it fit. Why would it not happen that way? Well, because most of the time you sprinkle it, and if you wanted to fit it in there, you'd just have to use a smaller measuring spoon. This looks like yard clippings. Well, yeah, but smell it. It's oregano. That's what the guy said it was when he sold it to me. Uh, yeah. That's not full. <laughs> that's not full. Okay. It's probably overkill because we have Italian breadcrumbs, but yeah, I'm that's, what, that's what I was trying there. to explain. I felt like it was a little overkill last time we had this. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you want a I half don't. a cup of the Parmesan cheese. Okay. Well, you already dumped your half cup in the. It's right here. Oh look. Okay. I feel like it's really powdery. I mean, what do you want it to be? Do I just put it in here? Yeah. No, 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 it's all gonna stick if you rinse. Oh, you can wash your hand. Don't rinse the cup. It'll all stick. All right. Well, just put it in there. <laughs> just put it in I'm there. I'm just gonna put it in there. Here I go. Am I off? Am I even on the camera? Sam's encouraging you. She says you're Thanks. doing a great job. Thanks, Sam. This is so hard for me. It's so out of my element. Yeah, usually you just stay out of the kitchen. That's not even full. That, Why I'm gonna, did you not fill the Because thing? I'm going to start spilling it. And when I do, you start, like, yelling at me. And then, like, I don't want to spill Hold it. Hold it over this where you're going to dump it anyway. My goal is to my goal is to do everything correct. Okay. Okay, so I'll mix that up. Okay. This is the last thing I have to put in here? Yes. So you want to make sure, like, your cheese that you just... You, so you're just, like, stirring like this. You need to kind of scoop from the bottom. It's going. Okay. You just want to make sure that cheese gets all through it so you, oh, it's not only getting cheese on the first ones. <laughs> Hannah says she feels like you you have PTSD in the kitchen. A little bit. I don't know why. It's hard. It's not even PTSD because you've never had a traumatic experience. You just don't cook. You don't have like I beat you in here. <laughs> There's lots of, like... Well, yeah, what do you want? I'm not sure because I've never done this you before. You put a half a cup of flour and all kinds of other stuff. Okay. So yeah. we mix it up. We still have a little bit of time on our timer. Yeah, we got six more minutes. Okay, so we got six more minutes. Okay. Well, I'm moving um, the so what you can do is to get out the the big silk hat. Right. Tristan says your PTSD is just from lots of pinches. I recover. Mostly. I recovered from the pinches. I can feel it. Okay, so once those are, once the timer's up on that, we're gonna take those, we'll like throw them in a bowl, and the silpat's gonna go on that uh, cookie oh, sheet. Okay, where do I put it in the meantime? Wherever you want. No, where do I put it? You have you to tell me. You can put it on the counter because okay. we're gonna That's put food on the counter. Because I don't want to put it somewhere where you think it's dirty, <laughs> and then you're washing it again, and I'm not, I don't want to wash it again. Okay. Lacey Jane says, just put the cover on the bowl and shake it. That would work as well. I, I wanted to make Dan stir it by hand. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but I don't want to drain it on the lid. That's fine. Right. All right, so that'll be good. I could drink my drink. I could drink my drink for a second. Hey, you can relax for a minute. Uh, Misty fan named Jen says, I give Dan and Crystal a lot of credit for having Dan try to cook. Yeah, it's, it's an experience. <laughs> Hannah's proud of you for going outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. I guess it's a lot easier to cook when no one's here, because then uh, <laughs> Cause you can screw it up. And I stopped. Judging. I stopped streaming my like morning meals. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just gonna make what I want. No judgment. How do you screw up eggs? Um, you know, there'll be 43 people in the chat will tell me. <laughs> Probably. Mm -hmm. I don't know why Mooch is staring mm -hmm. right at you. Yeah. So what else is going on? Um, we are still doing uh, sticker stuff. Whoa. Ow. I don't know what happened, but he had a freak out and he was done. Yeah, uh, he was done. Uh, so we still have sticker stuff here. If you guys want to go and uh, pick those up over at rfsfam.com, everybody's uh, that ordered one should have had them shipped out um, already. So you guys. Two are still sitting in my work because the mailman did not come today. No mailman didn't come. Nope. I tried to go to get stamps the other day and I get in line at the post office. This was. 
This story was told on the CCMS podcast again yesterday before that episode also, <laughs> also got deleted. Um, but I was in line to get the stamps, and then once I got about halfway through this long line, there was like 20 people in line, they're like, oh, internet's down, cash only. I was like, wah, wah. So I didn't get to do anything. But then Crystal took him to her job and got him stamped, but the postman didn't come. So I guess everybody that ordered theirs up until... Saturday, they should have already been out in the mail. They should have been out in the mail. The beep scared him? No, I don't think he cares. He just jumped and ran. It was just time to it be done. It might have been the beep, or it might have just been it was time for him to be done being held. That's, I, that's I think, huge for you. I think more that it's time to be done being held. Anyway, so if you guys want to pick up these stickers, you can. They're a $12 ship. I know it sounds... What an exciting sell tonight on that, huh? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Did you even put them on the screen? I had them on the screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think everybody pretty much got theirs by now. But right. we still have some left, so if you guys would like those. I got my stickers Monday. Yay, good. Thank you. Somebody posted that they didn't post a picture of theirs because there was no note in there. Did you forget to write a note to somebody? You just threw the stickers in an envelope and sent it on its way. This is what happens when I don't supervise. I did a, I wrote a lot of notes on a lot of people's Well, things. one of them didn't get a note, so just know somebody felt left out. Uh, hello with the super chat. Thank you so much for the support. Hi, Ellen. Wants to know what's going on with your hawk today. It's beautiful today. Dan has discovered the wonders of my curling iron. Yeah, it keeps the hair out of my he, face. He doesn't know how to do it himself, so okay. I actually have to curl his hair for him, but right. it gives it great body and, and movement. No, I had enough stuff to do today, so there's no, it was no mohawk day today maybe it'll come back saturday it needs to be cut it's like so long it goes like way down here so it's got i need to cut it so uh no more today you get um mullet head dan yeah with the hair with the hair yes uh, thanks for the podcast i'll watch it after this yes the podcast is up people were concerned somebody wanted to know if you and jess were fighting i like that <laughs> I, I like that scamp maybe so you don't know you'll have to listen to the podcast to oh, see we're tiffin today <laughs> Uh, Chris at the Super Chat, speaking of the CC Mouse podcast, have you informed Crystal about the spell swapping yet? A little bit ago, only because I asked if she saw your comment in yes. there. But Crystal doesn't listen to the podcast, so she'd be none the wiser if not. I just don't have enough time for another yeah. podcast. Hannah says, I need a haircut, so Dad, me too. My mom says, pretty. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thank you so Aunt much. And Jamie says she loves you anyway. No personal note needed. Oh, I would assume she's not, the one who didn't get the note. How did you not? Right. I drew little thank yous and happy faces, and I'm like, all of them? I packaged them not all Not all of them, clearly. I packaged them all up myself, too. So it would have been my thing. You didn't put anything in there. No, I was busy doing other things. Oh. <laughs> I designed the stickers. What more do you want? Helen says, Helen says, I, uh, Helen says, I'm still waiting for mine. I did send yours out a long time ago. I, how do you, like, I, how do I ban you? Like, I can't even, like, ban you? <laughs> how do I not have that permission on my own channel? Put you in town and hide you. Go away. Go away. Go away. You got it? Yeah. All right. Um, yes, Helen, yours did go out. There is another one, actually, that's still here because you couldn't get stamps that is international that we don't have international oh, stamps. Oh, Crystal the Animal Lovers is here. Yes. But everything else... I'll go back. I'll probably... I'll probably go Friday. Again. I can probably just use the postage meter at work if we figure out what the international stamp costs and just use the postage meter to put that much postage on it. Okay. All right. Okay. Where are we? Yes. Where are we here? Uh, Amanda says, The podcast got really interesting with spell swapping and what happens after X-rated adult stuff documentary. What? Maybe I should listen to that episode. It was like three words of it. That's what you guys took from it. Not <laughs> the not the McMeatball. Like you guys weren't impressed by the McMeatball. You were, you were. And what's that? Is that what you guys? Is that what you guys took away from it? Apparently so. Hmm. Let's check your Netflix history. <laughs> All right, Alexa, stop. Okay, can you move this out of the way? Just fold it on itself. All right, so I'm just going to push on it and make sure we got as much moisture out of it as we can. I did two layers on the top, but you can see it took out... I don't know if that shows up on camera at all, but these are moist. It definitely took out a bunch of moisture. You can see the circles on here. So that's what we're going for, just to get most yes, of the moisture Yes, anything to get that moisture out makes me super happy. Yes. So I'm just going to pile these up on here, and then we'll put the sill pat onto the cookie sheet. And then it will be time for you to start dipping. So hard for me not to grab a crunch one. Not that I'm a biggest um, a fan of like a cucumber anyway to want to. It's not a cucumber. I know. No, <laughs> not that I'm a biggest fan of a cucumber anyway to grab it like a cucumber and eat it. You can eat one. No, because they're gross. I don't like zucchini. Because they're gross. I hid zucchini in, in my milk when I was a child. I know you're listening, Mom. 
But I had my zucchini in my milk. I think the statute of limitations on that's worn out. But I don't know, because she might still just beat you with her cane, just for good measure. Uh, yeah, so I it's great, children. If you guys don't want to eat some of your food, just get milk. Because you can hide a lot of stuff in milk, because it's so pretty your opaque. your mom makes you drink all your milk? Yeah, uh, just make sure your family has 2% milk. <laughs> so that way it work with non -fat? It's just thicker, yeah. It's just thicker. Okay, so. Okay. That's where my recipe is. I can never remember which one's which. Okay, flour. Oh, shit. I really should have read the instructions. Am I even cooking if I'm not screwing it up? The flour wasn't supposed to go in here. Yeah, I didn't like that. It was supposed to be everything else but the flour. Okay. Because it goes egg, flour, egg. egg. I forgot there was three dipping the, stations, the not two. So we have to just remake this. That was a lot. That's like two pounds of stuff there. But what do you want me to do? Remake it, I guess. Yeah, like we screwed it up. But what, what can I do? <laughs> get, get two more bins. Two more bins. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, because we need one for flour. Give okay. me the other half cup measuring cup. Out of here? Yes. I always struggle with these things, and, Chris, and Crystal got a new new one of these cup things, and I asked for the old clipper honors because the <laughs> new one work, wasn't going to work. They were really tough. They, like, lock into place. They do. They do. And I'm like, no, I already, I already can't get it right in the, in the first place. <laughs> your mom wants to know what else you hid in your milk. Just that I was good. Just, just, just the zucchini. Cause you would make, you would make zucchini with um, sausage, and the sausage was fine. But like I didn't like the zucchini, cause like it's mush and, and like I don't know, I don't know what you did to it, but it was just mush. And then so yeah, so when we go to Garden Grove, I'd hide bits of it in the milk. Although I said that's it. I I pretty much ate every like I ate everything. When else. you moved, then you ate it, or you, she stopped feeding it to you. <laughs> Which of these things occurred? Uh, I'm not sure. Fair enough. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. But yeah, that, I think that was the only thing that I that I did. Otherwise, I think I just ate my food. Hurry! <laughs> Hurry! I don't want it all to come clumping out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Wait, I want that. What is that? Cheese or panko, that's all I put in there. Okay, so salt and pepper. Watch out. I mean, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tristan says, sure. No, I didn't say, here, let me think if I can think of anything else. No, not that comes to mind. Yeah, not that, not that comes to mind. I hate and pepper like, when it's not freshly ground, but I hate grinding pepper to measure. I don't like these little ones. I want the big, huge one. And it's that one's a lot easy. That one's a lot more easier to, to turn. Like, you turn it like once or twice and it's a bunch. I mean, why is that okay, happening? So pepper, what is going on with pepper. salt and pepper that's the only machines that come full of stuff? Every time I see a salt and pepper shaker, it comes full of salt you, and pepper. You grind them. Everything else but is like, already, like, herbs are dried and, like, Flaked. But like, you know, take pizza for instance. Like, I don't want just some random pizza in my pizza. Like, I want to choose what I have in there, right? Wait, what? Isn't there, isn't there different salts and stuff? Like, why do I need that salt? How do I know I don't like this brand of salt better? Or is salt just salt? I mean, I guess when I'm eating, I'm like, oh man, is that Morton salt? And you're like, no, it's from McDonald's. And you're like, wow. <laughs> that never happens. I don't know. I see, I don't know. Okay. Nothing. Flour, egg, panko. Got it? You got it. You, you got it. I already screwed up once. I can't possibly screw up again, right? Yeah, it's like U-turns. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's with the sound effects, and how come all your oregano is stuck to the side? It's static. It's 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 oregano static. <laughs> But I think I'm pretty good. It seems all pretty slooshed around, slooshed around in here. Okay. Okay. So I, I recommend. So we have our three stations. You stick one in the flour, and you want to use your hand, like keep this hand dry, so that you can do this, and you because you want to make sure there is still a little bit of moisture in there, and you right. want to coat that. Let's do it. Like you put it in here, and then I'll do it and put it on the tray. 
Like Oh, no. like I do one step? Yeah. Because I can't do okay. three steps. Four steps. I can't do four You're steps. You're going to do... Stop. You're going to do but four every... steps. Okay. Then you switch to your other hand to go in here. Now this will be a wet hand. But sometimes you have to do it a couple of times because you get those spots. See where the egg like runs from the flower? So you have to do it a couple of times. And then you put it in here. Now do whatever you're going to do. I usually take dry hand and kind of sprinkle it on top. That way you're not... How do I remember what hand? my dry hand is? Because it's not wet. Okay, so see, now you see why I like to use the other breadcrumbs, because the Ponco breadcrumbs are thick. And yeah, they... that's not thick sticking... That's not yeah. sticking to it very well. Right. And that's why I use a mix of breadcrumbs, because it just gives can you... Can we put some of that layer. in there, then? We absolutely can. All right, let's 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 do that. Although I like that Ponco look, it's not... I can see too much kini. <laughs> Like, just too much kimchi. Yeah, this is like a powder, so okay. it's going to coat a little so, bit better. Right. All right. We'll mix that in there. But now our, our ratio is all off. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You've used, like, a loaf of bread. I usually do a half a cup of panko and a half a cup of the regular breadcrumbs. That way it's a 50-50 a mix. And then it gives you that, like, chunky crispiness and the, the coating that you want. Okay. All right, so dry hand in the flour mm -hmm. and pat it down to make sure you get coated completely. So then it looks like that. Okay. Coated in flour. Yes. And then it goes in the egg. Okay. Wet hand. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's coated completely on both sides. Toss it in there. Dry Wait, hand. Are you sure that's your dry hand? It's not wet. But there's wet hand stuff in there. It dripped. It's fine. Uh, ratio schmatio, right? <laughs> all right, this is the dry hand. And you Flip it and push it. Shake it all about. Is that good? Did I do it? Yeah. All right, and then wet hand flips it. Wet hand, yes. I'm good. I did it. Drop it in here, dry hand. Put it on top. Now use wet hand to pick it up. But now my wet hand's gonna have all this stuff on it. Eh, not really. It's not sticking you enough can to use dry it. Hand. Yeah, I know because we didn't do a 50/50 blend. So sometimes. The ones we did last time were like completely covered. Sometimes I dip it back in the egg. Oh, this is this why it takes hours to do it? Yeah, probably. What's up, Ben? Ben, we're trying to make Parmesan baked zucchini slices, but I think we used the wrong mixture of stuff. We? You wanted extra panko. I have this now. I have this wet hand. I don't know what to do with. Now there's a line. I was mistaken. You should use your dry hand for this. Oh no. I, I moved to the other side and forgot what I was doing. <laughs> now what are you doing? I'm, I'm powdering up. Bikinis. Brittany's here. Hello, Brittany. Thank you for watching. What's up, Brittany? We're making zucchini things. I think so. Yeah, we're just... No, no, stop. Because now it's going to soak in there and all the flour is going to come off. But you got to go faster. You've done this to me before when we've made these. Now I have two of them. Right, but it's not time for two. Toss it here. This is a bottleneck. We it's need to... you because you're going too fast. We need to increase production value somehow. <laughs> You're almost done. Now. I can put one in no, there. No, no, you're you're messing me up. Stop. <laughs> if looks could kill, oh yeah, tell me about this it. This has a dry, flowery spot. Oh, pizza sounds good. We need a pineapple people pizza. Man, at work today they ordered pizza. They literally spent. One of the guys had a hundred dollar gift card. They literally spent a hundred dollars on pizza. Nice. And got me a salad. They didn't even get you a cheese pizza or a personal pan pizza or I read so many books in a month pizza coupon pizza. Nope, they got, oh me a, my they got me a salad. Oh. Which I appreciate that they got me a salad. Man. They gosh. got me my own salad because the other salad had meat on it, apparently. But they got me a salad and no pizza. And the whole office smelled like pizza, and I just took my salad and went home. I didn't even eat it there. That's right, you came home with salad. Yep. Someone should tell them you don't win friends with salad. Yeah. You do win friends with pizza. That is true. That is true. That sucks. Yeah, I was a little disappointed, but I mean, like, what was I going to say? They got me a salad. Yeah, yeah. what did they get? Did they get a Supreme? I've been missing Supreme no. pizza for a long time. 
They got Hawaiian. Oh. Wait, they got a large Hawaiian pizza what? and two Hawaiian calzones. Why didn't you bring me? Why didn't you bring me one? Because I was mad and I took my salad and left. I was not happy. It that smelled sucks. like pizza in the whole office. That sucks. I was really not happy. Oh, I don't blame you. I got some powder over here. Oh my god. How what? did you even manage that? Oh, I'll show Crystal. Oh, we're gonna be here forever. So now you're just flower dipping. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to speed this up because we've done like ten of them, and we. I told you this is time consuming. It's already seven o'clock. What do you want? It's it's time consuming. It wouldn't be so bad if we had done the 50-50 blend here because it's not sticking and I'm having to mash it on. Yeah, no, they look good. They look good on the they look good on the tray there. We'll yeah. get a close up they'll, shot. They'll crisp up a little bit. Yeah, they'll crisp up. We'll be fine. What? I can't read Ben's comment, but I'm laughing at it. <laughs> How about making a toss salad pizza? Oh, you could. Put the salad on the pizza? Yeah. But then I'd have to take the the ham and pineapple off of That's it. That's the thing, it's the residue. Yeah, it'd be all... Ham is, like, hammy. Like, it's not as greasy, I don't think, as pepperoni, but it would st the pizza tasted like ham, I'm sure. And pineapple, there's just pineapple juice all over it at that point. It was not happening. No. Oh, Sam's Life of the Husky. Thank you for the super chat. Poor Crystal. I would have gotten you your own pizza. He literally spent his entire $100 gift card and then and then was griping about, do I have to tip him? We're going to get it. Do I have to tip him? And I'm like, in these trying times, you have to tip them. I'll give him 10 bucks. I said 20%, you cheapskate. These people make so much money. He tipped them 10 bucks. Hey, just remember they watch your stuff. No, they don't. Also, Amanda wants to know if uh, how your boss liked the ginger snap cookies. You know, I didn't get a report back, actually. He just came and got them yesterday. So either he didn't like them and didn't want to say anything, or he's too busy shoving his face full of them. I should ask him. When I talk to him tomorrow, I will ask him so I can report back on Friday. My mom did tell me they're supposed to, and I think you guys mentioned it too, they are supposed to be like, a, hence the name, a snappier cookie. But the recipe said soft and chewy. I don't know. I've never had them. I had nothing to compare it to at all. They're okay. It was sad afterwards. We went to the store and there was like a box of ginger snaps there for like, here, you want your fatigue mat? There were a bunch of ginger snaps there for like $1.99 for like too many for a stomach ache's worth. Right. We're like, man, we should have just got those. Uh, Brittany asked where we, if we should be able to get uh, RFS Dan um, aprons. You can on this link here. Uh, boop. Did yeah, did it? you put those up there too? Um, it's on it's on my uh, rfsdan.com. There's a link to getting the aprons if you guys want the aprons. They're really nice aprons. They're nice because they don't tie around the neck. It's all one piece that goes through the piping here and ties in the back. Yes, that is one frustrating thing. About, I love that. I, I love never my apron, knew that but was I have a thing. to tie that bow behind my neck, and it gets in the way, and it's annoying. Well, all the years of the ap all the years of aprons that I wore at a Cubesmith. Um, they're a Velcro here, and I had to pin them and stuff. I had no yes. idea this existed. Yeah, that's a good feature. It's a uh -huh. good quality, it's like, very thick good. apron. Yeah. It's going to hold up it for was, sure. It was very good. Um, also, if you guys like the Let's Bake Shit shirt design, but don't want to wear something that says shit or have a sticker that says shit, I did make a variation that just says stuff. So the kids can have it and whatever. It's, did you really? I did. It says Let's Bake Stuff. And my friend, uh, if you guys were watching Dantix on Friday, you saw that Gregory and Natalie, along with their grandma Janice, won on Dantix, their first time calling in. Uh, they're my friend's kids. And they said... They call me Auntie Kiki. They said, Auntie Kiki said maybe she'll make one that says stuff instead of the bad word. And so that it's I It's not a bad to. word. It's, you know, in some circles, people frown upon that. But you did that. No. <laughs> I, I had to. For the children. Is it, doesn't Wu-Tang do it for the children? Isn't that a Wu-Tang thing? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what else is going on? Brittany says that's her favorite style of apron. I didn't even know that was a thing either. I so. had no idea until I got Impressive. this apron that that's always a thing. Yes. Nancy says that uh, grocery store ginger snaps are very snappy. I don't know. I like soft cookies. I saw soft and chewy and was like, yeah, why not? Didn't really think about the fact that it has snap in the name. Sorry, I'm squinting. I'm blurry from uh, there. Phil Brooks with the super chat. Hi, Dan. Larry says hi. Hi, Larry. Hi. Hi, Larry. <laughs> We're making uh, Parmesan baked zucchini bites. Did I get it right? Crisps. Crisps. Yes. 
<laughs> Chris says, OMG, they had the best energy on the call Saturday night. The kids were super fun, and it was great that they won. Dude, they were so excited. They were pretty They were so excited. They had excited. watched the night before and were excited that I just said hi to them by name. Like, that made their day. Because when you're a kid, it's like, it's the little things, right? Like, they think we're famous because we're on the YouTube. And then we said hi to them for everybody to hear. They just I, the, the television talk. The television talk to them. Right. Yeah. Um, what's Mine's that on the gone. back of my the black stuff on the back of my neck? I think it's from my apron. Maybe I don't have those cool Bam Bam Bigelow uh, flame tattoos, Jim, on my head. I, I lack that. And, <laughs> I think and, he's and just my ability. On how much longer your shaggy oh, sides are? It is. It's about to be. It'll be shaved. And I, I'm not good at cartwheels either. Um, yeah, it was cool that they. It was cool that they won. Yeah, they were that very was fun. excited. That was something new. I was happy that they even like scored enough to get into first place so they could see their name up there and like have those bragging rights and then that like nobody was able to dethrone them. I'm sure their week was made. I, I did make sure to send them out a little prize. Right. Bloop. All right, 10 more minutes. These will go in the oven. Uh, Helen... <laughs> I need to, I need to rewatch... I need to rewash one of these hands. Real quick. Helen with the super chat. Suggestion for a t-shirt for Crystal is a cookie with her face in it. Oh, but see, I'd have to... Do you want it from the person who made my Eggman Dan artwork? I don't know. I We need to get some... So I can make designs, like text and stuff, and manipulate the text. I cannot draw, so I can't do anything that's drawn. We would have to commission somebody to do that Yeah, for I, that's what happened to my Eggman Dan. I got it back in the day. I also had another one done. It was a Sushi Man Dan. Nobody knows about that. Remember me on a piece of sushi? That looked like that, but on yes. a piece of sushi. That one, uh, that one never saw the light of day. But you could get your uh, head on a cookie, I guess. Chris says that AJ loves it when we say hi. Hi, AJ. Hi. <laughs> um, the night he jumped on the Dantix call, he thought he was cool shiz. Well, he should. He is cool shiz. Did the kids get their ice cream for winning? Oh, I'm, they were with Grandma. I'm sure Grandma gave them ice cream just for existing. How <laughs> come I didn't get ice cream? Because you've never won Dantix. Everybody always beats your score. Right? You passed Better at luck the, next week. You passed at the store when it was on when the Ben & Jerry's were on sale. That's because they didn't have any good flavors, and the Ben & Jerry's at Seder Brothers doesn't cycle through fast enough, so it's always the same Ben & Jerry's that's been getting stale in that, and it has freezer burn all the time, mm. and yeah. Uh, Brady said, the link went to Crystal stuff. No Eggman Dan. When I when you click the fire, when you click the fire logo on, on the... Beacons. Um, I'll look into that. I'm sorry. If you can find RFS Dan, uh, if you need it now, if you can on, find it, type in RFSDan.com. Um, on no, no. Uh, no. Um, on um, where did I put that one on? That one's on Spreadshirt. It's from Spreadshirt.com. So if you can search RFS Dan on there, you can find it faster. Otherwise, I'll change my beacon link. I might have accidentally copy and pasted the wrong thing in there. I'm sorry. Yeah. Friday's yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. He almost won this week. Yeah, I was doing pretty well this week. I was up there for a yeah, minute. Yeah, until you got dethroned by children. I mean, like that's you know that's not nothing new. <laughs> I was dethroned by children when Blake was two, and he punched me in the face, and he was standing over me. I was laying on my back, and he just, I I, I sit up, and he stands there, and he just turns. He wasn't even two. He must have been year and maybe a little over year. And he turns and just goes power and just. Whoosh, and blows up my face. No bloody nose, but blows up my face. And then, so yeah, that's when it started. Oh, Jordan says I missed a super chat, but I have wet hand and messy hand. Do you have a clean hand? I can. I thought we read them all. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Chris said we all got dethroned by children. <laughs> I read that one. I read that one. Right? No. Oh, maybe somebody else. Did I? Oh, stop, stop, stop. Go down. Oh, I think it was Jordan's, because I think I, I read that, but I read Chris's, so then I was like, oh, I already read that. Uh, Jordan says that I need to tell them they have to call back in. Their energy was amazing. Yeah, I wrote them a little letter and congratulated them for, for not only being brave enough to call in, for, but for being smart enough to win. And for the record, like, yeah, Grandma was on the call, and Grandma got some right, too, but Gregory was shouting out some right answers. He knew some answers So you there. wrote that letter to put it in the envelope with the stickers, and... Auntie Ange got nothing. No, nothing in her envelope. You were talking about Aunt Jenny. Oh, it was Aunt yes. Jenny? Okay, yes. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. So that's your fault, not mine. That, those are two completely separate things. These poor kids, I haven't seen them in forever. I did a video chat with them when, like, pandemic times first started, and I was, like, trying to read them books, but three small children on a Skype call does not work. Three small children and you in any sentence does not work. Yeah. Um, apparently, okay, so I might be having beacon issues. Okay, I'll make a little note to check that tomorrow. Hey, Alexa, remind me tomorrow at 9 a.m. to check my beacons. 
right. Are you whispering sweet nothings to your Alexa? I, I'll remind you tomorrow at 9. Yeah. Can I tell everybody how you lost your cool on uh, Alexa? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> you started screaming at her? Like, you tell me I have to be nice all the time, but you let her know to the point where, like, she didn't say anything after that. She just the, went ding, and the, she was done with the you. The blue bar turned purple, and it dinged, and then yep. it was silent. She's all, don't yell at me. I did. I was just, uh, it just. Your mom, by the way, agrees that the slang word for poopy is not for kids. Oh. My mom is pretty wholesome. Yeah. How's this going? Are we, are we, they're looking good. Yeah. They're looking a lot more bright. We still have a million pieces left. Uh, we'll be done by Saturday. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to put them all on here. Mm -hmm. um, because there's the silk pack goes in tighter. Like, it doesn't go all the way to the edges like the paper towels did. And we were barely able to fit them all onto the paper towels. Yeah, we'll just do a little but bit more we'll, and throw we'll them in there. Bit. I don't know how many how, we're really going to eat. How, yeah. Uh, there's only two of us. That's fine. They don't really keep well. Like, if you're going to make these, make what you're going to eat right then and there. Because they don't really keep well. Unless you have, like, maybe an air fryer or toaster oven, maybe you could put it's them in there. all but... about that air fryer. These would be amazing in an air fryer. How do you know? Have you ever eaten anything out of an air fryer? Or are you just making things up based on photos? I just know that they're better than the oven. They, oh, so let's throw away our oven and replace it with an air fryer. Um, that's a little extreme. That, <laughs> that's like throwing away your refrigerator for a mini fridge or your oven for a microwave. It's they're, they're different things. You can get them with. You the, just said it's better. You can get them with the air fryer, and they're like a convection oven. <laughs> Husky deals with the super chat. Sometimes it just be like that with Alexa. I'm nice. Sometimes it do be. I say thank you and please all like except today when time. you yelled at her. It just you were ye you like leaned in to yell at her. There was too many details that it wanted to like just remind me in like three weeks at like nine o'clock a.m. or p.m. a.m. no noon. Is that a.m. or p.m. It's <laughs> it's noon. So you lost your cool because you didn't know what noon meant. It's, look, here's the thing. It's smarter than me by a lot. You're not... That one broke in half. Okay, but the other side didn't have enough flour on it. It's smarter than me by a lot. And it didn't understand what noon was. It's it, like, we're, we're sending things to Mars. <laughs> and, and like, so, yeah, so, I don't know. <laughs> Evelyn said, the thumbnail looked amazing. I know, I downloaded that from someone else myself. These ones will look good too. These ones look just like it. They look pretty good right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with the way they look. I should get like a little more of a zoom in on these things here in just a second. Uh, and I never know what to call you because your name is different everywhere we see you. Angie, Auntie Ange, Angela. Yeah. Oh, I got my stickers, magnet, a note, some business card looking stuff. It was awesome sauce. Yay. Can't hold up my RFS Cats calendar like I planned as it's not strong enough. No. Oh. I didn't get car magnet strength because they were way expensive and they were really thick. And I wasn't a fan of that, so yeah, those 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 Dan magnets will hold up just as much as you think Dan would hold up, <laughs> which is always uh, overwhelming and not enough. No comment. So thank you, though. I'm glad those things arrived safe. So far, all good. I think Husky Tails got hers, and it was all open. It was like the split. Stickers? Up, like the bottom was like tore open or something. Oh shit! Were they all in there? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go, Nathan says, what's up? What's up? We are making zucchini, parmesan, bakeable things one day. Crisps. Crisps. One day. Baked zucchini, basically, with seasoning and yes. crumbs on the outside. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Angela says, all oh, those are me, LOL, incognito. I know, but then I never know what to call you when I address you when you comment. It confuses me. All of you guys that use different names, and I feel like, oh, I talk to you guys in the Facebook group, and then I know what your real name is from Facebook, but then you have different names here, and then sometimes I don't know who it is because I haven't associated the name yet, or I forget, or I don't know. You guys confuse me. Sarah says, I got my stickers of this week. Awesome. Well, good. I really hope you take Eggman Dan and put it in your purse um, on your wedding day. <laughs> we need, um, you need a... Uh, Something borrowed, something blue, something with a game show host, and something new. So you could use my head. <laughs> I don't as, think that's how as, that goes. Is is that? I, I it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> Moss says they're looking good. They are. I'm, I'm excited. They come out the oven. These are almost ready to go into the oven for how long? That's a good question, but I have dirty hands and can't check. Uh, I hope it's not like a half an hour. I think it is. Oh no! <laughs> what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do then? I don't know. What are you eating with this? Like. Ranch dressing? No, because I don't like ranch anymore. No, I meant like as a meal because this is not a meal. I'm not sure. After we, uh, 
After we had the popular sickness, I don't have I don't like ranch anymore. I'd trade that for the chemical taste that I keep getting. So. Is Eggman Dan something borrowed? It is. It is if I ask for <laughs> oh, it back. Yeah, only if she gives it back. <laughs> yeah. I know you paid for this item, but can I have it back? <laughs> Crystal the Animal Lover, your sticker pack's on its it's sitting no, there. No, it's on our table. It's on our table. I don't know if you heard earlier. I tried to get stamps, but when I was halfway through the line, the internet died because we've been having nothing but like internet issues uh, across America for the last maybe week to two weeks. There's been these outages that have been rolling around the internet I've been noticed where different places are having issues. So I was not able to purchase an international stamp. Um, I tried to wimpy it. Like, I will gladly pay you Tuesday for a Canada stamp today. Oh, the people at the post office had no sense of humor. They it, were not going for that. I didn't say that. And the lady was like, beat it, bub. I was like, uh, no. Those, the, the, the people at the post office, I do not mess with them at all. I just make sure I, uh, I do what needs to be done and leave. I, I can't tax them there. No. Uh -uh. There used to be cool people there, but they all retired. And now nobody's funny. Like. They're unamused. They hate their jobs. Husky tells us, every time I cook, egg, Egghead Dan judges me. It's on my fridge facing this Yeah, but he's got a smile on his face. That's okay. Every time Dan cooks, you can watch and judge him. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of what we do. How's, how, how are you feeling about this? Good? Good, yeah. But can you just slow down just a little bit? Because you're leaving it to, like, soak in there. Okay. And it doesn't really Oh, you let me know soak. what you want in there. Like, as I put it on the tray, you can put it in there. Oh. <laughs> that was rewarding. I like that plop noise that it made when I dropped it in yeah. there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. How are you doing with your hands? Have you messed up yet and switched switched to Rooney some hands yet? No, I think I'm good. <laughs> How are you doing on flowers? They're still... Oh, like there's a ton. There? There's enough that after we put this tray in, we're not going to make any more. Right? Because I don't want them not fresh. I don't want these soggy. I don't want these things by the end of the night. Like, when they come out, I need to eat them. Like, when we I'm should done. have just chopped up one. Oh, we could have, I guess. I can I save like... some zucchinis for other stuff. Or we can save some of this batter stuff. Not the egg, but like. No. No, then this is it. I won't eat any more than these. Okay. Um, I feel like because we used the thing to make them, this is thinner than we usually make them, so it made more of them. Which maybe that's why uh, the recipe calls for more flour and hmm. breadcrumbs. Okay. You're slacking now. Make up your mind. <laughs> uh, Nancy, you read Nancy's comment, please. Oh, no, you're going to do this. I'll read it. Nancy says, you can get them from the post office, and then your mail no, carrier will says. leave the stamps. You can get a form um, from the post In office. your mailbox. I don't know. I guess that could happen. That would be kind of rad. I did recently learn that you can um, get pictures of your mail before you get your mail to see what's in the mailbox. Say, look at how much flowers on me. Now, and I feel like I'm I really. Now you really have to watch it. Good, yeah. Now I feel like, I feel, now I feel good. You feel like you're actually cooking? Yeah. Okay, flour one. Hang on, this one didn't get egg on the end. Wait, hang on. Hang on for one more day. I gotta change it to hang on so Wilson Phillips doesn't, <laughs> doesn't sue me. Because they're watching. You're right. <laughs> you don't know. Carney right. Wilson could be watching. Why Carney? Because that's the only name you remember. Uh, I don't recall the other. I don't recall the other Wilson Phillips name. It was Carney Wilson, Michelle Phil Mich Michelle, Michelle I think. M Phillips. Phillips. I think there were two Wilsons. Yes, and, and I don't. I don't recall. I don't recall the other one. I don't recall the other one. I don't know. Just says now I want zucchini pizza. I would try that, Jess. I've been seeing, I've been seeing cauliflower pizza at the Aldi, and I've been anxious to try it. Except for if I'm going to try it, I need to have a backup pizza ready, <laughs> just in case I don't like it. You know? Yes, super chat. Yes, uh, Crystal Animal over the troop super chat. Uh, what's that say? Thanks? Yeah. Oh, thanks for always uh, hanging out and supporting the show. Hopefully, hopefully your package makes it out of the house. Makes it out of the house. Soon. I'll take it to work tomorrow and I'll look up what international okay. shipping oh, is. Oh, I can go. Yeah. Yeah. Just like I said, I went to the post office and they did not have any... They did not have any uh, internet, so I couldn't get any postage, you know. Because Dan's not allowed to have cash because he spends it all on cheeseburgers. <sighs> yeah, I didn't have any cash. I, I don't know when I gave up the last of the cash. Oh, it's Wendy Wilson and China Phillips. Okay. 
Cha Cha. Well, they're all named weird stuff. There's Bijou. There's China. There's Busy Phillips. Like there, there's like, they all have uh, unique names. It's such a weird name. Busy. Yeah. Right. You got Super Chat. Michelle Phillips with the Mama and the Papas. Okay. See, I knew there was a Michelle in there somewhere. Mm-hmm. That was the mom. Snow Dogs Logs with the Super Chat. Thank you so much, friend. Starting that Super Chat train. I am realizing reading this stuff that it's blurrier than it was before. Where's your glasses? Oh my gosh. We might have to start the lens crafters train. <laughs> or I need to go get some lens you crafters. You literally have glasses. You choose not my to wear them ever. My glasses don't... I think it's changed. Because it's not as effective. Oh, you want to know how you find out? But... Make an eye doctor appointment. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so naggy. Why do you even hang out with me? Anyway, so like I was saying, thank you so much for the... For the super chat, we are making zucchinis that are parmesan and baked in the oven. Not just parmesan, it's breadcrumbs. Actually, we only that's it. That's the last one. Do you want? This, you there's no work for this one. No, I'm not. I'm not. That's it. That was the last one. Now the tray's perfect. I'm gonna show the camera a little closer to the to the zucchini sticks so you can see the zucchini sticks. They're not sticks. They're slices. Crisps, according to the recipe. They look good. They'll go in the oven now for too long. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for when they come out. Hold on, I hit a, I hit a, but <laughs> what are you doing? Boom. Okay, so now we're gonna figure out how long they go in. Twenty the to oven. thirty minutes. Uh, Christine wants to know, are they going to be crispy like potato chips or like fried zucchini? Like fried zucchini. Like but fried. They, they're just baked, not fried. Yeah, but not but not so like watery. I'm going to go 25. Not so watery. Yeah, we made them thin, so I think they'll be good and crispy. I don't yeah. think we've ever made them this thin because we just chop them by hand, and I do not hand chop that thin. No. No. Uh, Husky has a super chat. Never had zucchini, but those look yum. Girl, what was the last thing she said she never had? Avocado? Hadn't you said you never had avocado? Look. Are you not a fan of so, green food? Is it too, like, Godzilla for you? Let me tell you about this place in the grocery store called the produce section. It's off to the side, usually, one side or the other. Maybe maybe it's the back wall, depending on how your store is arranged. They have, like, fruits and vegetables. You can find zucchini there. You can find avocado there. Probably don't want to eat those two together. But, girl, you need to start trying some things. Find some recipes. Try these things. How have you never had a zucchini? Oh my gosh. I mean, I only like them fried, so I'm not judging you, but how, did your parents not make you eat vegetables? I'm really baffled. Oh, we can turn this off for a second and not have a side camera since we're not doing nothing right here for it. Okay, but you uh, okay. made this too okay, wide and now click I on can't it and see then this. See this. Brittany with the super chat, thank you so much. Dan, 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 look a bee! What was I doing? Right? Dan, 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 I like your stuff. Social distance hug. Hi, Crystal. <laughs> wow, did you who did you like get a hold of your phone? Thank you so much for the support. And <laughs> um press one if you need uh, help. <laughs> yep. Press one if you need help. Mm-hmm. Yes, like yes, here. blink once if you need if you if you need help. Um again, I never know how to say that. M Schauberg? M Schauberg? Can you give me extra zucchini to the turtle? I will certainly try. Here's the thing. Um, my turtle's very similar to uh, Husky Tails. <laughs> Doesn't like anything. She's the pickiest turtle ever. We went to Dan's sister's house once who had a turtle, and they, they ate piles of fruits and vegetables and stuff. My turtle likes green grapes and mealworms. That's about it. Every once in a while, she'll take a bite of something else, and then she just moves on. She'll climb on top of things if she doesn't want to eat it, like she's hiding it from me. She just is not a fan yeah, of Yeah, she's gone through phases. She's gone through phases of stuff. Yeah, it used to be night crawlers. Right. And then we couldn't find night crawlers and had to find mealworms. And then, all about and then we went back to night crawlers and she wouldn't eat night crawlers. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I don't know. And sometimes you feed her a can of cat food. There is like a can of food you can get from the pet store. She'll usually eat like two or three times out of it and then she just turns her nose up at it. I don't know. She's a snob. I, I don't know. <laughs> Hannah with the super chat. What are these fruits and vegetations you're speaking of i'm telling Some of you are good. outside of the grocery store just not stay, outside but like outside edges just stay away from 
uh, canned green beans. Those are the worst. <laughs> and beets. You don't want anything to do with beets. Even though it sounds cool, they're not cool. Husky Tail says, hey, now, I like most food. I just haven't had a lot, apparently. Yeah, I, my mom made me eat these things. I hid mine in milk. Apparently so. Yep, I hid mine in... I hid mine in milk. My mom was a big fan of uh, boiled carrots, like frozen carrots that you would boil in water and then strain and then put, uh, and she'll tell you to this day, I put brown sugar on it. Like that was supposed to redeem the soggy carrots. I would have eaten a, a fresh carrot. I like fresh, crunchy carrots. Yeah, I'm not a fan of steamed vegetables. No, so I'll eat broccoli, soggy. I'll eat carrots, I'll eat anything. As long as they're crunchy and I can dip them in something, I'm not a fan of the, the mush. So I won't make soggy, I just won't make soggy mush. Right. I'm with Charlotte. Nope to um, asparagus. Yeah, my high school boyfriend's mom made us eat asparagus all the time. I freaking really? hate Really? I don't know. I, it, when I when it's grilled, it tastes good. But I've only had it like twice in my life ever. So I don't I don't know. Um, it, they're, they're the best. I've had the most I've had of asparagus than anything is pickled hot spicy asparagus from Jess's house that was me taking it out of the jar and it was really good it was really really good I eat those all the time I would get up and just walk to the fridge I'd run a train on those okay so what are we doing in the, in the meantime we're we just kind of hanging out we promised cat stuff but all the cats are sleeping yeah I don't know what you all the cats are sleeping or falling out um, um. Kamiko lost her final tooth today oh, she still has her little teethers she mm. just doesn't have her Snaggle teeth anymore. She lost both of them in like a, in like the last two weeks. She lost them both. That sucks. I should get her some cat dentures. <laughs> we can get her like human teeth so she could have like Gary Busey. That's creepy. We could no. get the Gary Busey cat smile. That would no. be so great. No. That would be so great. Uh, Husky Tail says, I was never made to eat anything, but the older I get, the more I realize I like. I'm always open to try new things. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's as you good. get older, you know, like I never like spicy stuff. I always hated anything vinegar tasting growing up and stuff. Right now, I can't get Blake to eat some of the stuff that, like, maybe he just needs to be older for his palate. He'll, he'll try most everything. Right. Unless it's something he knows he already doesn't like. But he tries stuff he knows he doesn't like in your food reviews. Hannah says her parents never forced her to eat foods either. Uh, when she got to college, she vowed she'd try anything at least once. That's, yeah, most of the time I will try anything once unless it's got things, like, if it's made of things that I know I don't like. Right. Husky Tales with the Super Chat. Grilled butter asparagus is amazing. Okay, so you do know about vegetables. Yeah. See, that's, a, that's something like that's Something like that's. Good. Oh, then she corrected garlic butter. Garlic butter asparagus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Jim says green vegetables are the wellspring of life. Very important to get all those nutrients often as we I, age. I yes. like the green. I like the green stuff. I'm still a big fan of salad. But that's just me. I like salad. Yeah. Christine says her mom used to coat the zucchini slices in flour and then pan fry them. Okay, interesting. Okay. I just don't want to put them in oil. I don't like cooking no, things we, in oil. No, we can't nail the deep fryer. It's, it absorbs too much. We're not doing the right temperature. We're not doing something because every time we try to put stuff in oil, it it's never comes soggy. up. It comes out with hints of good and then it's just soggy. Like we're not, we're just not doing it right. We need, we need the correct machine for it. Not, uh, not like a pot, uh, pan on the stove. Yeah. Um. Sam's Life with the Husky wants to know why Kamiko lost her teeth, and Froggy says she's still a kitten. No, Kamiko is... 12? 11 or 12. 12? I'll have to do the yeah. math, but yeah, she's she, she's tiny, but she's not a kitten. No, she's not no, a kitten. she's an old lady. She's scrappy, but yeah, she's all our teeth She's a crunchy old lady. Out. We don't really have very many teeth left in our cats, because all our cats are old. Yeah. Mooch is doing good for being old. He's still got his teeth. Yeah. But Kamiko and... Tails. Tails don't have any teeth. They have teeth. They just don't have the pokey teeth. Jordan wants to know if Blake's home. No, he is not no, home this week. No, he's at his house. Amias Leo eats all the veggies. Mm, awesome. good, yes. That's better than me. Right? As long as it's not beets. <laughs> I keep those beets away. I had to eat beets once when I was in Michigan. I'm like, I did it on a live stream, and it was I've so hard. I've never seen you react like that to yeah. eating it. You, you, were, will you were watching that, yeah. yeah? Yeah, I was. It was Your hard. Your face said no. I mean, it was hard. It was like a disc, and like... When I was turning it around, trying to feel like what like what was going on, and I was pushing it around, it was like pliable, like this, like it was like doing stuff, and like there was no good way to like break it down into lesser pieces, Ugh. and it tastes like soil, but not any soil. It tastes like what I imagine the soil s like smells like and stuff when I'm close to um, night crawlers that are in dark wet soil. Gross. It smelled like yeah, that's what it like took me. Remind me never to eat beets. I yeah yeah, please don't. Don't listen to whatever Jess says. Don't eat beets. <laughs> Lacey Jane says, you two make me laugh so hard I need a pee pad. Oh, man. You can buy those on Amazon using our referral link. <laughs> yes. 
Bernie says I couldn't leave the dining table till I ate my veggies, so I just took a nap at the table and outweighed my parents and win. I would do that with meat when my mom would make bad meat and I would just sit at the table. I'm not eating it. I would just sit there until it was bedtime. I would be excused without finishing my dinner, but I don't get dessert. I'm like, you don't get dessert. And I was like, man. And then like an hour later, I'd be like, I'm hungry. And then it's like, you don't get dessert. I remember that. But I didn't want to eat my fish sticks. Ooh, I remember that. You're pulling it out of me. <laughs> Amaya's Leo is excited that I said their name right. Oh, Yay. nice. Good job. I just went for it. That's why you were in the chat. Uh, Sam's like with the Husky says, that's interesting. My cat is 14 and still has all his teeth. Cats are different. Mooch has all his Mooch teeth. Mooch has all his teeth. Yeah. It's, it's just... not. Everybody's not the same. It's like humans. Yeah. yeah. Some humans make it to 90 with their teeth. Some lose them at 30. It just happens. Yeah. Yeah. The, Helen says one of my babies turned 14 on the 10th of March. Well, happy birthday. They've gotten to the point where they're getting, like, multiple cans of, like, wet food a day. Which they I'm, should. I'm done feeding cats. I don't think there's a lot of... dry food. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of nutritional value in that. And okay. we've just always done it because it's easy and cheap. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Jim says, that's a hell of a smell, Dan. Like, after a spring rain in the Midwest. Uncle Yukon says you got to wash them first. <laughs> I don't know. They came out of a pickled jar. I think they were pickled from Jess's house. They were new. Just no thank you. Charlotte agrees they taste like dirt. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with them. Jess has got a brand new one because when I was editing whenever, when I was watching a video of hers the other day, I saw in the background that she had a beat. It looked like, it looked like a tired potato. Froggy says you need to boil them, LOL, or pickle. You had them pickled, though, I right? had them pickled, that's, that's and I love pickled stuff. I learned pickled stuff besides pickles. I learned about pickled stuff out there in Michigan when I'm out there because all their pickled stuff's really fun. But the beets, I was not. <laughs> I was like, you guys said they were pickled wrong. <laughs> were they pickled wrong? Maybe they were paired. Maybe that's They the were purchased, though, right? Uh, like, it was from a company. Yeah, it wasn't like somebody no, did it no, at no, home no. and screwed and, something and up. And we got some pickled... Uh, we got some pickled... No, because they taste like beets. I think they, like, they smell. Right. Um, We got some pickled peaches, too, and those were... Oh, okay. Theo says, when we fry up egg rolls, they won't stay crispy on the first five minutes unless fried in high temp. Yeah, I think we just don't get it high enough. Yeah, we just yeah we just need, like, the proper tools or the machines to do it correctly. Yeah, but like I the, don't... Like, just had I, that basket, it dips in there, and it tells it when to come out. I feel like if I had contained. one of those, I would just fry everything all the time. Well, that's what I'm saying. The, I don't need to fry everything all we, the time. We talked, we talked about getting the, the fryer or something like that, and then we decided, like, what would happen for that first month? And right. it was just fried food for that first month. <laughs> Absolutely. Chris is also <laughs> not a point. fan of pickled beets. Oh, uh, I will say though, once this thing dies over here, not, I'm not pointing a crystal. That, <laughs> I have other plans. My toaster but, oven. But once the toaster oven dies, I love my toaster oven. Uh, then we're gonna get some sort of something that's got like a um, deep, not deep fryer. The, what's the other ones called? The other air fryer? fryer. An air fryer built into it. I, I was looking at, at them at the store, and yeah, they they come as a toaster oven. Because I, I will never not have a toaster oven. Yeah, it can too. have other functions, but I have to have a toaster it oven. It is. Um, but we'll wait for this to die because it's yeah. not. It's definitely past fifty percent of its life. It's more like eighty at eighty percent of its Still life. Still working. It's um, fine. But uh, it's gonna all of a sudden die. But it's been definitely past half its half life. So we'll just wait it out a little bit. Kathy says, I like the juice from the pickled beets and put hard-boiled eggs in it. Wait, and then that's it? Just that? So, so... <laughs> you made stink face for a second there. Yeah, like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's nasty. Like, what? Like, that is just... That, no. So you take the beet juice and put hard-boiled eggs in it and then eat it? Like, willingly? <laughs> like, willingly? Um, Hannah doesn't like pickled things because she has an aversion to vinegar. I'm with you, friend. I like pickles, though. I no, really she like just pickles. doesn't like anything that's related to the burger. She's like, pickles go on burgers. I don't like burgers. Ergo, I don't like pickles. <laughs> Uncle Yukon says that his mom pickled beets and other things, and they were great, uh, and they lived in Michigan. Well, Michigan people seem to like pickled things. I don't know. They're on the shelf, like, everywhere. Here, the pickled section's, like, this big. At our store, it's like this. Yeah, you big, get like there's okra, there's, like, there's pickles, okra and pickles. There's a wall of pickles. Yeah, you can get fifty different varieties yeah, of pickles. But you can't get anything fun, and they're like ten dollars. Yes. I'm like, oh my gosh, we live in California. We should have everything. Like, we should have everything. No, I think out at Charlie Brown's, they you have probably get more there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris says they have a deep fryer. It was cool for a few weeks. It's too much work to, to deal, deal with, with five yeah. quarts of well, hot see, oil when you're done. Um, growing up, we only had the basket that would go in there and stuff. And then afterwards, we'd like pour it out or whatever. We'd try to keep it, and it was too hard to funnel it back. Jess's drains into another container, and it just and stays like, there. And filters it out. And then filters it out. Gross. And the next time they use it, they like pour it they back in, and it filters oil. out. 
interesting. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's not as bad, but it still is a mess. It's still a mess. It's still a mess, which it should be. It's a deep, deep fryer. And then after you're done, you don't want to mess with it at all, right? You just want to like eat your food and then like be all like gluttonous on the couch. You don't, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to like have to go back and clean oil mess. Right. Hannah says, by your logic, that would mean that she doesn't like cheese. If you're saying she doesn't like anything associated with hamburgers, uh, she freaking loves cheese and lettuce and tomatoes and can handle pickles every now and then. Mm. I freaking love cheese too. Suspect. Not like my brother. My brother just goes and like grabs handfuls of cheese and pops it in his mouth. That's like as a snack? When they yeah. sell those Belvitas that you can like open up and eat, they sell those. The, no, Belvitas are cracker. It's, you're thinking of the baby bell cheese? Yeah, you can get those and open those up. I guess that's, I mean, that's not for cooking no, or No, he bacon. like grabs like grated cheese or oh, like a too. block of cheese and just gnaws on it. Well, yeah, right. But I don't eat cheese like that. Some of the cheese is good. All right, we have 11 minutes. I'm starting to get hungry. hungry okay, why like don't you, you, we got these brioche buns. Yes, I keep seeing and... the Aldi group, people raving about the Aldi brioche buns. And I didn't know which I ones to, one. I didn't know which ones to get. They had some that had sesame seeds on them, and then they had rolls. These ones look, these ones look like what I get in my sandwiches. Yeah, it's this like last a hamburger bun. food review I did at KFC came in a brioche bun. Uh, they like to put their chicken burgers in them. Like yeah. fast food places and think it's like fancy yes I've never had brioche so I'm really not sure I know you had one in the, the one food review because you mispronounced it and everybody they're called all, you out on it they're all yeah like maybe like three of them have had those buns on it from the chicken burgers yeah. from different places yeah so I don't know what it tastes like Did you didn't get a burger what are we doing what are no we doing after after I was gonna after I almost turned into Somebody crazy at Target today. <laughs> I heard you sat down in the middle of the floor. You did turn into somebody crazy. I nobody. I didn't tell anybody but you that. And I know what was <laughs> I laying on the couch like half asleep when I told you this. I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, if I, I think so. You I, were like, and I just sat down in the middle of the floor, and I, I thought about laying down and making snow angels so somebody would pay attention to me. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, so all that did happen... You didn't tell me I wasn't supposed to say that. I didn't recall that I told you the story. <laughs> no? But yes, I almost did... St how All of it, I t what did I tell you? Yeah, uh, no, I don't I Don't tell it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I went and got some... The buns, and I got the uh, cu cucumbers and then zucchini, <laughs> and then... Um, did they laugh at you when you went back? I can't tell, because we all have masks on. Oh, gotcha. So <laughs> they could have been rolling their mouths underneath, you know, mouths underneath there. Hannah says, eyes. well, now we need this story. Did and you tell it on the podcast? No, no, just was None of it? after the podcast. This oh. is why the podcast was like downloading or rendering or something. And I had to go, I went to go get earbuds because I'm, mine keep dying or mine, my, my wireless ones died and I have plug-in ones. And all I do is walk and smash my phone on the ground all the time. <laughs> and they were super on sale. So I went to Target to get some. Um, so that's where I was at at Target. That's why I was at Target. Sitting on the floor pouting? What were you, what, what was, okay, <laughs> I don't wait, tell you had story. a mask on, so we don't even know what your face was behind the mask, right? I don't want to tell the story. Were you just shooting daggers out your eyes at the employee it, that refused to help you? The only thing I'll say is where I sat down on the floor in the middle of the aisle was a big T from the front of the store to like the cashier at the electronics it shoots yes. this way there's toys dog food and clothing i feel like all targets I, are set up the same way i was in the middle of that t sitting there with your arms crossed with my arms crossed my legs crossed indian style sitting there <laughs> on the ground like a child after about the 30 minute mark and then after, not for 30 minutes, but after 30 minutes yes. passed with no I sat on the ground for at least three full minutes, which seemed like an eternity, while every employee walked by me with their boxes of go-backs and stuff that they were, <laughs> they were doing in the toy section. Who I asked, like, can any of you guys help me in electronics? And they all said, no. And it wasn't no, but let me see what I can do. It was no, and let me go back to what I was, I was, I was doing. Like, it's just <laughs> not, it, right. So yeah, so I sat down in the middle of the floor and, and I was really close to pulling out the vlog cam and setting it on the little shelf. Charlotte wants to know why and you didn't live stream it. I, 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 only, I just needed to zip there and back. I don't even know if I brought my camera with me. And I was about to lay down and do snow angels and start, and I was, I was ready to start stacking. There was uh, printer cartridges down there on me until I got some sort of help because the person that was helping me was sitting there at the that register, <laughs> was not acknowledge me while they were trying to teach an old man how to reset the password on their phone for 30 minutes. And you just needed something out of the case, I right? just needed something out of the case. And she would not acknowledge that I existed until I interrupted him. And she said, oh, I'll see if I can call someone. And when we went back to what I was doing, and then like 10 minutes later, I was like, did you get a handle on that? And I just got blown off. I said, should I leave? And she said, probably. 
So then I had a meltdown. Yeah, there's more to like it. You can't do that I didn't want to tell the story. You can't basically I just tell, tell a customer, today. like, I don't want to help not, you, you should leave. This is not what I wanted to come out. <laughs> then you shouldn't have told me. This is not. Or you should have told me not to tell anybody. I didn't remember that I told you the story because I think I was half asleep on the couch today, charging for a little bit. Yeah, well, I got the full story about how you pounded on the ground oh and almost gosh. made snow angels. <laughs> Or dirt angels. Um, prior to your tantrum story, Hannah with the super chat, thank you, friend. When I was a little girl, when I would go to my grandparents, my cousin and I would eat bowls of shredded cheese. I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think that's good for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not want to I did not want to tell that I did not that's all you get that's all you get of the story. That's enough. There's more there's more, but that's that's all you get is yes, at some point today. I sat down in the middle of the Target at a T area while employees walked by me. And people, wait, nobody wait. questioned you. Then know. you complained to a manager. Well, we're not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just, just throwing that out there. No, I, I didn't have to go complain to a manager. I went to a manager because I knew they would get something for me out of the case. That's all. To the point where I okay. So there's chairs where she's helping this person and ignoring me, and there's another chair there. I sat there. I created a Dane Target account. I bought the <laughs> earphones, and I was trying to have it shipped to me. I was trying to have it shipped to me. Um, it said a two-hour wait to pick it up, and I was trying to figure out whether I could sit in there or not for two hours. <laughs> You'd already been there for. You got it. We were this close. You got to acknowledge the human that's there. I am there. I am here. I'm a human. Tell me to f off. You know what you should have told me to do? Go up to the front and talk to a manager. They'll help you right away. That's what I would have said. And I went and talked to a manager, and she ran to the back and got me my stuff and came back, not a problem, with no So you did get headphones? I got headphones. Okay, so there was resolution to the story. You got what you needed? I would have left, but their low, low prices kept me there. <laughs> it was really like $40 or $50 off these headphones. How much did you spend on headphones? That's, that's so oh I got... Oh, my God. Everyone's commenting on the bad customer service. Amaya Leo says, "Oof, that's terrible. I'm dying hearing about your tantrum." Oh, uh, there's more. It's there's more. But Hannah I don't says, wanna... uh, "Don't go to Best Buy." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the person told me to leave. Like, I should just probably leave. Yeah, that's that. I've worked in retail a lot in my life. Here's that is thing. not acceptable. A, 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 okay, so oh my gosh, a bunch more stuff happened, and at the end, the manager lady is near our seat and says, hey, "There's a survey you can take on there to see how well we did." Or you could talk about what happened in electronics, and I laughed and I grabbed it. I was like, I'm not. Don't. It's fine. Like it's no big. It's no big deal. I just need to get my stuff. I was there for 30 minutes. I just need my stuff because I need to go and get meat and other stuff at the store. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I was never gonna say a word about it. Okay, so these have only been in 15 minutes, but since they're so thin, I feel like they might be close to done. Can I see? Do you wanna? Do you wanna take one out? Yeah. It's it's hot. Okay. Um, real quick though, before you oh, they, get into these, that, these do look. Um, Husky Tales with the super chat says, "Have you ever had the new Sunkissed Berry Lemonade?" Oh, uh, I have not. No, no, I, no. Know that I haven't. I haven't had a Sunkissed product in a long time. She said she thought it would be good, but it, it was gross and it tasted like molded blueberries. Well, then I'm not gonna have that. I like. Uh... Chris approves of floor sitting Dan. I didn't snitch. I didn't come like I didn't snitch. I didn't have, make a scene. I just needed my stuff because I needed to go. This is why I just buy stuff online. I just don't understand like like, and they're all kids, so it's not like you can get me. They're just kids. Um, I just don't understand why like you see me there. Just say hello, hello. I, everybody like you know what it was. Is everybody that come in the bike shop, I would even just straight up tell them like, dude, I'm stuck with this for like ten minutes. I recognize you're here. I'll be with you, or come ask me a question. I can I can juggle a little bit, you know? But it is just like, this. I just did not exist. It's, I have bright pink hair, yo. It's not just about, like, good customer service. Like, that's a decent human being that's thing, good. right? That was good. Take it out? Mm -hmm. um, there was a line at that register where I sat down, and people, when I finally asked if anybody's going to come, and she's like, ah, they just set their stuff and they left. So people were walking out of the store. Okay, so are we just gonna do like frozen chicken burgers yep. with this? Yep, because okay. I couldn't make it. I didn't make it. Okay. Yeah, what, the, the point of that was to what say was it was really cool burgers. though at the store though, is I found the Pokemon kids. They were standing there because at noon, um, they were gonna um put the new booster packs out there, and they were all like grown adults, but they were all standing there while a Target employee was talking about the rules of I guess grabbing. You know, I don't know, but it was it was crazy. I got to see live Pokemon kids. I'm um, looking for Pokemon cards because they're so popular. 
Okay, so we ran out of time and cooked those. I'm just going to yes. microwave and toaster oven the burgers, if that's okay with you. Uh, what happened to Dan Trice cooking, Foxy Claw said? We just cooked a bunch of zucchini. Like, what, do you need me to do, like, five-star, like... <laughs> Bane, do we need like an appetizer, an entree, tiny Look, forks and stuff? Let's be real. We had a rough few weeks with cooking. I'm not even co I'm not so even going there. I have just. We just wanted to do something simple I, that we knew would be successful, and we did, and it was successful. I decided this is what I wanted to do, so we could hand it out and have fun. So that's it. Too. Next week, though, we are gonna make falafel. Well, I have to look at the recipe. We're going to make homemade falafel. Well, Crystal is. But I'm going to help her. But next week, we're going to do homemade falafel. That, that that is our plan next week. So that'll be fun. Okay, what kind of cheese do you want to hear? Oh man, look, he said, uh, I just got home, what did I miss? Oh, you don't even know. <laughs> um, can, can someone give him the highlights? <laughs> what, a... what kind of cheese should I put on my chicken burger from the microwave? Pepper jack cheese or uh, Swiss cheese? Or provolone. I don't want provolone. Okay. This is the only two options I think I, I want get. Swiss. I, maybe I do, I don't know, I do too. Brittany with the super chat. Dan, don't be embarrassed or shy about this story. This is a good story. Do it's what you not, gotta do. It's, right, it's... Uh, there's more, there's still more to the story. I just, I'm done with it. But yes, <laughs> I, that's, that's, that's what ha happened. All the cheese. It's not a little steep, I'll just rewatch it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you having for cheese? Uh, Pepper Jack was the first thing I saw from Jim Johnson. Pepper Jack okay. it is. That's right here. I like pepper jack. This is like the first. I've only had. There's only been a couple times where I've had cheese with stuff in it, like the pepper jack. Um, growing up, I would see the bologna with stuff in it, like olives or something. Pen Penedo. Pen <laughs> What's that? Pimento. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, but I've never, I've never ate it before. It looks funky. It looks like something's gone bad. What are you? Doing? Because you don't want ranch. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'll, I'll, I'll find a bunch of sauces and I'll try them. I'm usually a, a bunch of sauce person. These did come out well, though. I'd like to bring these over here so I can show you guys. So if you're cutting them thin, and let us know uh, how your guys' turned out, because I know some of you have made these. If you're making them thin, then it definitely doesn't need the 20 to 25 no, minutes. No, we in did there. 15. 15, yeah. And they look, uh, they look really, really good. I'm really excited for these. The one that I ate was just dry enough. Can I turn off the oven? No, because I'm going to oh. put the buns in there. Okay. Um, but they're good. These are really, really, really good. They got good crisp to them. Hmm. Try honey mustard. Honey mustard's good. Um, Zucchini? I don't know if I would like that. I do it with ranch. I like ranch. Steve says that um, I should get a katana. <laughs> no! No! I'm gonna try honey sriracha. We've seen you with knives. Why would he suggest that? Oh, honey sriracha. Let's try that. I went through a whole bottle of this super quick. Bloop. The honey sriracha looks really good, but I don't know if it's gonna really complement this. Um, do you want to throw that pan in the oven? No, Tails, don't, don't do it, Tails. Don't do it. Don't do it, Tails. All right, don't do it. Okay, uh, put what in the oven? The, uh... Tray? Buns. Okay. Ooh, nice and toasty in there. Speaking of nice and toasty, I think we're done with winter. Yeah, uh, it's supposed to be 79 this weekend. Yeah, it's supposed to be 79 this weekend. I Yipes. Dan, did you try the scorching Pringles? Yeah, Pringles, it's, they suck. Okay, so here, I got some here, hold on. So, so Husky Tail sent me a box of hot stuff. Inside there was scorching Pringles, right? So I opened it up, and they're just weak. Not the effort of you sending to me, of course I appreciate that. But they're weak as heck. Like, what kind of dusting, what kind of dusting is this? These are, these have, like, talkie sneezes on them. <laughs> Like, um, they taste, they taste like powder or chemicals. They don't taste right, right? So then I'm like, all right, we'll try the Takis explosions that are full of cheese and chili peppers. And uh, these things tasted fake as heck too, but I've been trying to get through them. I have to eat them in the other room. I can't open them around Crystal because she'll make such a stink face that you've never seen before, it'll offend you. No, it's just Doritos and barbecue sauce that does that to me. So I have not, 
I have, unfortunately, out of all these chips, and I still have some here, of every uh, week or so once I go through and I open up another thing and then I'll take a bite of them and then I'll send Husky Tales a photo and be like, oh, it's gay or nay. Um, they're all pretty crappy. They're all pretty crappy. I'm, I'm a, little, a little, little bummed out on the chip game lately. There's so much uh, just bag art that we, we forgot about what the, what the most important thing is. And the, and the most recent fail has been these 3D Doritos that were awful. So yeah, I don't. I, it's just bag art these days. But I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on a mission to try to find something that's good. <clears throat> the thing that's gonna be hard to get me to eat is Takis. Um, oh, what's the douche food from baseball? Um, sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. I have a whole bag of Takis sunflower seeds. Did you get those? Yeah, they're in, they're in there, and I'm, I'm apprehensive to eat those. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'll try to, I'll try to eat those. Jim Johnson says, I've never had Takis anything. Uh, they're like extreme Doritos. Those look really good. I never know which way to go. Yep, you're yeah. good right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm excited for these. Okay, so the honey mustard tasted just okay on that. The next the next suggestion was, or I'm sorry, the um, honey sriracha was good. The next suggestion was uh, honey mustard. So I will try a dip of honey mustard. I think I'm going to try some of that Wahlburger sauce next. <laughs> this is like Crystal's favorite. She loves the honey mustard. I do. The Walmart brand. All right, come on. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tails, it was his gotcha day yesterday. Happy gotcha day. Um, nope, I don't like this. Yeah. You know what? It tastes like chemicals. It tastes like ranch does. Oh no. Yeah? Yep, I haven't had honey mustard in a while since the popular sickness. That is not honey mustard anymore. No, that's unfortunate. Hockey's Blue Heat is disappointing. Definitely don't suggest bothering buying them. Yeah, uh, Crystal hates them as well. I'm still finding them everywhere. I cleaned out oh, my like baking yesterday. cabinet. Yesterday, yesterday, I think. Or I yesterday cleaned out my before. baking cabinet and it was everywhere. I have to move the microwave because I crouched down to do something and I can see them under the microwave in the gap. They're everywhere. Do you want mayonnaise on your bun? Uh, sure, please. Okay. So, the next thing to try on these things. I have all the sauces. Hannah says Wahlburger sauce sounds like it would be good. Did you get that? All right. I have so many sauces in there. Okay, so we're gonna try a little bit of Wahlburger sauce, which is kind of a play on, like you know, secret sauce. You guys, you know, see it. You know, where where is he? It's a transformer. <laughs> so okay. Okay, let's see if it's good on here. Oh no, I spilled. Let's try it. And then next is some awesome Chipotle barbecue hot sauce that I got from Helen from Australia. Made in Australia. Um, I'm going to try some of that on one. This one mine here? Yeah. Thank you. Do you want guac on it? Uh, guaca, guaca, guaca. <laughs> uh, no, uh. I'm not going to eat all of it. Then yeah, that's fine. Oh, I'm just going to drop it in my food, apparently. Oh, you can change buns if that messed up your game. Uh, I'm going right, to try to ignore this. it. Let's see if this is better. That's good. We've got a good kick to it. <laughs> Chris said, Wahlburger sauce, is that made by Marky Mark's family? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Marky. I still call him Marky Mark every time, too. Yep. Look at it. He's walking on the wild side, and there's his brother, and then there's Donnie Wahlberg. What about Paul? He's the one that, like, made Paul. the restaurant. He never gets any credit. It's just I like, oh, Donnie and Marky Mark. I know. Look at it. He's, like, smushed in between them, too. Yeah, he's literally, like, the person who makes the burgers. <laughs> I do not want to put tartar sauce on there. No, I would advise against that. Um, I'm not sure what I want now because I'll take a bite of Crystal's Ranch again, but last time I ate ranch, last time I ate ranch, there was like, it tasted like chemical to me. So we'll see if it's any good. The honey sriracha is awesome. Maybe I will put it on the chicken burger. Dan, I want to send you a spicy hot sauce. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can send me some. I'll eat it. I have other hot sauces there. Um, my advice is try not to give me something that's gonna kill me and something that tastes good. I would yeah, like that. Flavor over heat. I have the heat ones in there, and then it makes me die a little. Theo wants to know if uh, you have a marinara sauce. I don't think we do. Um, uh, that you know what? They would taste really good in the marinara sauce because it's got that Italian breadcrumb to it, and the actual zucchini itself is just a vessel 
for all the flavors. So I do think it would be good in a marinara sauce. I like it with ranch. Uh, combine all the sauces to form make a <laughs> sauce tron. I did that on that one. Was it a vlog? I don't remember. Do you guys remember? I did it on like an episode of something where I took all the sauces out and I think I made a stripe throughout all the burger, throughout the burger. And I think I ate all the sauces in the burger. Linda wants to know how the uh, English mustard was. Oh, good. You know what? Let me try one on here. Why you not? You just Let's had try that on your sandwich yesterday, didn't you? He's been eating that for sure. Did you just blow the dust off of it? Uh, no, there was like a crumb or something on there. Okay. Let's try Coleman's mustard. The gloop. I love how it comes out, by the way. I love this. American mustard needs to take a hint from this. It's got a little piece in there to keep it from gooing out. All right, let's try some of the Coleman's. I saw that somewhere. Where did I see it? I think uh, Cost Plus, maybe? Ooh. Like, you can get that in America. It was not cheap, but they import it. Ooh. That is, that is like horseradish. Is it? That is like horseradish. I don't think I'm brave enough to try all these different no, you toppings. Don't, you don't, I can, I know you, you don't want any of that. The hmm. RM bug suggests using the English mustard to make some real honey mustard. I had real honey mustard at KFC, hear me out. <laughs> um, it tasted amazing. It was in the little packets and we had it the other day at the food review. It was so good. It was so good. Uh, you guys don't have those on all of them? Oh no, on what? Oh no, Steve, I need more context. I messed up, what did I do? Steve, let me know. I don't know what he's talking about. Yes, I need you to send you some Freddy's sauce, okay. I mean, I don't know who Freddy is, but I'll try his sauce. Um, I have not, I don't know anything about this Demi Lovato um, documentary, and I bet you Crystal doesn't even know what a Demi Lovato is. I know she's a Disney Channel singer, yeah. Right, but right. no, I have not seen any of this. I have not. The bun is good, but it's really nothing like, oh my god, you have to try these, like everybody talks about in Aldi, but I still don't know if my sense of taste is back all the way. Here, I'm going to mash a bite before I figure out what I'm going to put on this. Mm, I good just like that. Um, the bun feels like Almost like a paper bag. <laughs> yeah. Um, the ones that the the ones that I've been eating in the fast food reviews are a little bit softer than this, and they want to like mash and form. Like you want it to mash like that, because it's a brioche bun that like forms too. I think this is fine. But yeah, I kind of had a plan to maybe make a burger. But that wasn't happening. I was too busy trying to do snow angels in the middle of Target. Which, honestly, I don't know if I would ever remember that ever again if you didn't bring it up. Thanks for that. Now, I told my mom that story and everything. Did you really? Yeah. I, I swear I don't remember telling you most of that story. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of now, I kind of now, but I don't, I don't, rem I, it didn't cross my mind that I told you that. I don't think I would have told you the story. These are so good. I like them this thin. They're crispier. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Jordan with a super chat. Remember that honey suckle treat I showed you? That's why our honey mustard is the best. LOL. I have no idea. I think you're crazy. Um, the honey mustard didn't taste anything like this honey mustard at all. It was so good. And it was more of that color rather than this orange mustard color. It was like, it was like more towards like whitish or like tartar sauce ish. But it tasted so good. It was so good. It was so good. Chris is accusing me of drugging you with truth serum to make you tell me that story. No, no. he's just half asleep. Dan just talks when he's half asleep. I came home all tired. I knew you'd be home in like 10 minutes. To, so I just kind of like lay on the couch. Or was I on the couch? Theo says, I really wish I had known the snack was happening tonight. I finally got a mandolin on Saturday. I totally could have picked up <laughs> Zooks today. <laughs> um, the recipe is posted on Dan's Pinterest page. Mm -hmm. Is it just RFS Dan? I put a link there. You can find my Pinterest link. Did we decide your links weren't working right? Um, it'll did take you, you there. It wrong? Oh, I um, don't know. Maybe I did link it wrong. But yeah, you can find the recipe up there. And 
I just would recommend cutting the breadcrumbs and the flour uh, amounts in half, because even, no wait, these two. We didn't make all of the two whole zucchinis, but we still had a bunch of this left. And I recommend either all breadcrumbs or half breadcrumbs, half panko to make sure that it sticks because the panko is really thick, like bigger chunks, and it's not going to coat as well. So 50-50 blend works really well. Right. It, uh, yeah, it wasn't a true serum. It's just what happened. But I don't tell all those any stories. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Oh, guys, I tried to do snow angels in the middle of Target today. And Dan is not the tantrum type. Like, when I heard that story, I knew you were super frustrated to have that kind of tantrum in public. Because that's not something you would do. Like, it, at the bike shop, you would probably be fired. Like, the amount of disrespect. And I don't command respect, clearly. You see it all every time you see but it But to live. tell you that you should probably leave? like uh, No, I said, should I probably leave? And she looked at me and said, I, yeah. I was like, But that's okay. unacceptable. You don't tell somebody, yeah. You tell them, like, oh, man, can you go up to the front and see if somebody can help you? Or I watched $500 walk out of there when everybody just started. When she said that and other people started putting their stuff down and walked out. And I'm like, you lost a lot of money here. But you keep trying to ask this really... No, I'm not. You try. Nope. <laughs> nope. I stopped myself. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Anyway. Christian wants to know how they are. Uh, are you been eating them or are you just housing your burger? I've been They're eating a lot. Cold. I've been eating a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I cleared out this whole area. It's okay. My chat's still blurry. They're good. Um, because we used the mandolin and sliced them at a quarter inch thick. No, we ended up doing. What do we end up doing? They definitely are the best this time because of how thin they we are. We did a sixteenth of an inch, so we did them super, super thin. It called for a quarter inch, but we um, still have that quarter inch one here. It probably could have come out of the oven maybe a minute earlier. Yes. Or two minutes earlier, like we're pushing it. Um. Uh. Otherwise, I guess it could have been a little thicker, so it could have been not so dry, which is kind of what I wanted. I wanted them dry. Yeah. If, they're, if they're too thick. They're soggy in the middle? Yes. Well, they could have come out, like, but, I guess maybe two minutes earlier. Yeah. Maybe. This is still the best we've tried. But they're, like, crispy. Yeah, I will definitely do them this thickness again. So, did anybody else try it? How did we see who tried it out there? Let us know. I don't know if anybody did, because you barely posted the recipe last night. Yeah. Sorry. Next week we're do doing... Do I need to start making you recipe cards? Nah, I just need to decide earlier. <laughs> and then a day earlier. Um, Next week we have falafel. With Adrian's recipe. With Adrian's recipe. We're going to try to make homemade falafel. Yeah. How can you eat ketchup with a mead marinara sauce? It's honey sriracha. So it's more like a spicy honey, which tastes more like spicy than honey. So my mouth's tingling. I did not like the honey mustard. It tasted like chemicals this time. Or like rubber or plastic. I don't know. It don't taste like honey mustard anymore to me. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Tristan said, my favorite. These are good. We're new to this recipe. We made it like four or five times. I would try these with pickles, but I only want a few. I wouldn't eat as many because I'd be done with the pickle. I'd be done with the pickle flavor. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like fried pickles. Theo says the key is definitely a lot of the drying time. Yes, absolutely. The drying in the paper towels for 20 minutes or more. That helps a lot. That definitely helps. Crystal says she's going to try and make these soon. Uh, Aaron says You're that good. might be a fun thing to do to try out my meat slicer because it's adjustable. Yeah, absolutely. And you can make them thicker. The recipe calls for a quarter of an inch. But when we slice one at a quarter of an inch, that seemed way too thick to make it not like wet inside. I feel like... Personal preference, we don't want them wet, we want them crispier. I always try to go on the thinner side, I think. Okay, here here comes my final test on ranch. Nope, oh, Payless Shoe Store in my mouth. <laughs> oh, instant Payless Shoe Store. <laughs> that is not good. Oh man, that is not good. How can you... Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm getting a drink because that was awful. Oh, I tasted like Payless Shoe Store. That was one of the worst parts. It's been three months and I still can't taste things right. I feel like I'm pretty good for the most part. It's been sauces. 
I can't even narrow down what it is for me. I thought for a or minute it might I just be said, sugar. Yeah, I'm not paying attention. But yeah. it's not. No? It's like random things all of a sudden taste like chemicals. Oh, that was... That was awful. I used to love ranch. This happened like a... She's fine to me. This happened about a month ago, and I felt like maybe I had eaten something or did something. Nope. Nope. Somebody blended up Payless Shoe Store smell and put it in there and in the honey mustard. I had a donut, and I threw it away. I've never thrown away half an eaten donut in my life. And I went and told the guy, like, what happened with these donuts you brought? I think they, like, cleaned the case with some chemicals, and it got all over the donut. And then, like, over the next couple weeks, I realized, oh, no, that is my new flavor profile that I have on random things sometimes. Right? My Ugh. burger's falling apart. Um, why have you ta why? Have you tasted Payless shoe stores asking for a friend? <laughs> I have. I have. I, I I love the smell of gasoline and I used to love the smell of Payless shoe store. I still do. I just don't want to taste it. But for some reason, I feel like I remember licking, not licking, maybe maybe smelling up to my nose when I was a kid. Um, Like the flip-flops with the thing that goes in between your toe, and then on the bottom it's got like that little plug that comes out of the bottom, you know? Like, I remember just like smelling that. So I don't know if I like maybe this one like, I don't know. But I have, de yeah, I've definitely had that smell up to my, up to my, uh, up to my nose. Do you want any pickles? Uh, no, thank you. No, I don't want any pickles. I want to collab with Dan and Adrian on a cooking show. I just did just get driven out of the kitchen by driven, driven out of the kitchen by by um People by, who know by <laughs> cooking arrogance from Crystal <laughs> and Adrian. They'd gain up on me. <laughs> Steve's always trying to hook me up. If you like gasoline, you'll love nitromethane. Oh, send me some nitromethane. I don't think you can ship that. Tristan says we make Hidden Valley Ranch from the packet. So you take like the sour cream and you pour it all in there. But then you have to go through it all. I guess if you have like a bigger family, maybe. Chris said, so you were sniffing the flops. That explains <laughs> so much. I've smelled some flops in my time. I got nothing. Yeah. Have you tried making ranch homemade? You might like it better. Here's the thing. I like ranch just fine. That was just fine until we got like sick in December. And now it just doesn't taste weird. And now I don't want anything to do with it. Um... Good game, uh, ranch dressing. We had we had a fun run together growing up. You were my go-to salad uh, toppings. It would be that Thousand Island, or for some reason, um, the bell pepper ones. Uh, Catalina, Catalina dressing was popular in my house. The bell pepper, Catalina yeah, bell pepper. I believe Catalina dressing is like it's got like a red bell pepper on the label. You know. I don't think I've ever had that. Yeah. We were like blue cheese and ranch family. That was pretty much all we ever had. Oh, you can ship it. Yeah, send me some, send me some stuff, and then somebody else send me rags. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Yes. Well, these are the success. Mm -hmm. Although I feel like there should be a different write-up than the, than what we used on Pinterest. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think that my Pinterest is. Accurate, but that's why we're supposed to be starting our own blogs and putting our own recipes and our own things up there Yes, because I use this recipe as a base, but then I adjust it Hold on husky tails 101 with the super chat. What dressing do you use in taco salad? You don't put dressing in taco salad Um, if I were to make taco salad, it would we be don't make taco if salad, I were to make taco salad in a bowl with individual ingredients It would be chips taco meat lettuce lots of lettuce Sour cream, hot sauce, like, you know, and like all the other hot stuff on it. But I don't put any dressing on it. Like, hot sauce would be your dressing. Well, hot sauce, so yeah, like hot sauce, but like not like any kind of dressing. What? I have a feeling we have some sort of funky Michigan <laughs> recipe, or it's like it's like a taco soup or something. Hmm. Steve's still looking it up. What? He's sixty-seven cents a gallon. Mm -mm. Oh, sixty-seven dollars a gallon. Okay. Uh, all a taco salad gets salsa and sour cream. Exactly, Chris. I like tacos, but I don't like taco salad. I do because like, like I'll eat the I'll like eat the taco. I'll eat the oh, first of all I'll eat that big Daniel Decker taco, which is you know that double Decker taco, but I renamed it. I stole the name. Well, they're not using it anymore anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, and then later on I'm like I'm still hungry, and then I'll just put it all in a bowl or like the next day. 
And then sometimes I'll like mash up tortilla chips in there and then eat it with tortilla chips. So it's kind of like cannibalism. Like you're scooping up your own tortilla chip children, bigger chip, <laughs> and I eat it. Husky tells us she asked because a friend uses Catalina. Sour Patch Pack uses creamy French. I'm with Brittany. Sour cream is your dressing. Oh my god. I feel like what you and I, <laughs> I feel like what you and I think is taco salad is not. You're gonna have to. Why don't you go ahead and send me a picture of your taco salad, please, Husky Tails? Sarah says some people use Western dressing on taco salad. I don't know what Western dressing is. Um, Sour Patch Kids uses the creamy French. You said uh, creamy French is. I've only had it in kidney bean salad. There's this funky salad that I I, I don't know what's in it, but I'm, I'm having flashbacks to it. It's a lie. It's it's <laughs> it's it's cabbage. It's maroon beans, mauve beans, maroon beans. I see maroon beans and beans. French dressing. So that's the only time I've, I've ever I've ever had that. I never use any dressing. Oh my gosh, you turtle! You just like no. I think she means on her taco salad. Yeah, yeah. No, no. The ta- it doesn't. I have a pack of taco seasoning, like like a human, <laughs> like like a regular human, like they used to use in the caveman. Yeah, home. it's got enough ingredients. Do you right. really need a dressing? Right. Bye, Chris. Have a good night. Uh, yeah, we'll probably be done here just in just a few minutes here. I uh, I have more work to do. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Move it. Yeah, all the cats are trying to try to jump here, and I keep on blocking them. Yes, on the taco salad. I know. Uh, so. Are you done with these two at least? Yeah. Yeah. So that was fun. I enjoy, I enjoyed making those. I knew they were gonna take a long time, so we weren't gonna have a second theme to do deliberately. Like I didn't. I knew these were gonna take all of our time and our brain power and stuff. So. Have a great night. Thanks for the fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun making these, and now we'll clean up the mess. They're pretty easy. They're just time-consuming to, to right, them. Right, But if you have kids, you can do it with your kids. Yeah. And involve the family. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's good. They're worth it. You can yes. make a bunch of them. Yep. I don't know. They're good. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks. Uh, hey, Dan, you said uh, on the podcast that Disneyland opens up April 1st, when in fact it opens up the 30th. Okay, thanks. I'll change the title of the podcast. I thought it said it was opening up the first. I thought it was the first of the month, but thanks for that heads up. Um, I'll uh, change the I'll change the tag on it. Or I'll leave it the same, and then people will be like, that's not right, and then they'll comment. <laughs> you know they'll tell you. Oh, you know, I've been told that's not right literally... <laughs> Your whole life? I mean, t- at least ten times on the stream. Plus, I was told to leave the target, so I don't care. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the podcast, though. I do appreciate that. We're uh, we're going through some changes in the podcast, some growing pains, if you will, with technology. So we're trying to we're trying to explore other options for video and audio podcasting. Are you breaking up with Skype? Um, I I shouldn't talk too much crap about it because it's still kind of the way to go. Because you might have to default back to it. <laughs> it's still kind of the way to go. You almost can't do anything on April 1st. Everyone will think it's a prank. Oh, that's right, because of April Fool's. That's right. What day? Dan sounds over this day. I'm okay. Let's see what day April Fool's is on. It's on a Thursday. Okay, so I don't have any live streams. Live streams then, or I don't have to do anything April Foolish for you guys. I don't know, you know, because if it was on a Wednesday, then I'm going to have to do something stupid. Like, I have to do a gimmick, but if it's not, then I just don't have to, because I think it's the stupidest thing ever. The only thing that was cool about... We're uh, not dipping anymore, right? I can. Yeah. Can the only thing cool about April Fools was that for a while, um, Think Geek used to do all kinds of cool April yes, Fools. Yes, and stuff. actually sell them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm not even halfway through the podcast, and then a flashing lure live stream started, and this stream started. I'll finish it later. Yes, my words will always be there for you guys to pick apart later. Uh huh. Uh, record locally, then have just send the video and audio to you. That way, you can just Skype as video chat. Yes. Okay. So that's so that's what we do now with the audio, but not the video. Here's a problem, though. That's not a problem, but it's a day of post production. Like I have to get the file. That file is going to be huge. Then I, you know, it's first world problem. It's, it's just about time management. I'm trying to figure out a way to encapsulate everything in one with scene changes and everything, so I don't have to have three tracks because I'll have to have my track, Jess's track. And then another track where we're paired together, and then I need to be able to cut between her and me, and her and me, or us together. So I'm more, I, I, I have software and buttons to do that for me live, but then I was trying to, I was using web programs today to do it, and it's on the screen, a little clunky. But yes, the proper way to do it is to record everything separate and send it. But it's it, it's quality versus like time. That's the problem right now. It, 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 it's really big time crunch. I hate April Fool's Day. 
I am pregnant, April Fools! No, Jokes get on worst. my nerves and then I see them everywhere here. Yeah, I don't I don't like that at all. I think it's kinda of dumb. Besides, the new generation ruined pranks for everybody. Yes. Yeah, you're not allowed to prank anymore. Uh, Kathy with the super chat, thank you so much for the support. She says, looking very yummy. Great job. They were good. Thank yeah. you so much. They were good. Do you guys, did you guys make these at all? Did, did you guys make these? I know, I thought somebody said they were making some tonight. You could totally change it up however you want to, because it just calls for regular breadcrumbs. I use Italian seasoning breadcrumbs, and it only calls for oregano, but you can put whatever seasonings you want in it. It to... didn't stick, the, it didn't stick with just the breadcrumbs. No, it just the panko it didn't. The Yeah, the recipe calls for just panko. Um, but I do, like I said, 50-50. I cut the amount in half. I think it calls for two cups, and I use one cup, and I usually do 50-50. So half cup of panko, half cup breadcrumbs. Both of those I get Italian. You could use regular breadcrumbs if you wanted to season them somehow differently. I don't know what else you could do, but you could totally use whatever seasonings you want in it. It just adds oregano, but you could do, like, a whole Italian seasoning blend or... I don't know, whatever else. I don't, I don't know. You Mix it up. Right? Yeah. People know better than I do what flavoring seasonings will get you. I wonder if you could recreate that cheesy, crunchy gordita shell that was amazing at Taco Bell. Oh, I think I'd be so happy. I think about that all the time. I haven't seen a cheese crunch on something like that since the last time I went to Sizzler and had their bread. Well, I don't know the last time, but when I was a kid, Sizzler had amazing bread with that cheesy top. It was like that. I think they still have that. Um, let's see what Pinterest says. What's I'm, it called? It's a cheesy gordita shell. The, the problem is, though, is, like, I got in this... I was so irritated by last Taco Bell's review, which was the most the most anemic taco I've <laughs> ever had, that I just don't want to read... Like, I feel like the next time I have a Taco Bell review and it's bad, I'm going to blow up. And it sucks because these food review videos, uh, like, the, the, the major food review people, they're, like, all in the pockets... And you can just tell that, like, there's some people that just give all good, like, good reviews. And I don't want to keep complaining about the food, but, like, you're serving me up crap. And it's like, you'll never get sponsored by these players. Fuck, well, they put, you're never going to get my money. <laughs> like, right. yeah. Yeah. You're not just giving reviews to give reviews. No, like, like, you make shit food. So I'm, I'm really disappointed in Taco Bell to the point where I, I am almost done reviewing Taco Bell stuff. Is, it looks like a pita bread. That's not. No? No. Um... You would have to look for a regular picture. That looks like melted. That looked like melted. Um, they all just look like pita bread. Or, with melted stuff on there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Or like a this. A this tortilla. one's a little bit. No, nah, see, that's not it. This one's a little bit more like crispy on the shell. Like they put cheese on the outside. Let me look at what it actually looks like. What is it called? Uh, like a cheesy gordita, or like a cheesy gordita shell. I think it is. That's like Amazon reviews. Oh my gosh, those are the oh, the Amazon reviews are the worst. Okay, so we were literally looking at pictures of gorditas, but that's not mm, it, right? No, it's it's, it's it was like something else. It's like uh, it's got to have another word in it that you're you're missing. What did I do? I did the the bacon chalupa bacon. Oh, it's a chalupa. Is a ch it's a chalupa shell, right? Not a gordita. I'm sorry. Maybe it's a chalupa. Now, Tristan with the super chat. Hey, friend. Excited about the falafel. What kind of dipping sauce are you guys going to use? Tzatziki <sighs> sauce? Yes, I'm going to have... I want some sort of tzatziki sauce. So, so we'll get, tzatziki. Tzatziki sauce? Yeah, we're totally, we're totally going to get that. I'm sorry. Was it... I, I'm sorry. It was ch chalupa? Cheesy where, chalupa? Where does that go? Uh, just cheesy chalupa, maybe? I don't remember. I did I did re multiple review videos about it, but, like, I don't... I, okay, yeah, where it looks like there's cheese on the outside Yes, of it. there it is, where it's breaded like that. Can okay. I show the camera so that we can see what we're talking about? Yeah, and you can see you can see how nice that bread is with that cheesy stuff on there. Um, I have to scroll... Whoa, you made it! Let me scroll back I up. Totally because, oh, Melissa said, Sizzler bread is just butter and parm cheese cooked on that flat top. I know, but there's just something weird about it. Every time I get all-you-can-eat shrimp, I'm like, bring it out to me. Bring it out. But yeah, so I think we're going to use tzatziki, tzatziki sauce. Tristan, let me know if you have a favorite one or one that tastes good because we've never, I don't know if we've ever really purchased one before, no, but when we, we get them, we, we get the sauce yeah, with it, when right? When we get it from the Mediterranean restaurant, we get it traditional. I've gotten tzatziki sauce um, like from Trader Joe's and various other places, and I've never liked the flavor. Um, I've never been able to achieve that same flavor as at the restaurant, so... But all the restaurants taste good. Yes, absolutely. Like, they're all using the same... But I can't find that same thing. Sauce, right. So, like, don't judge us, but we totally make falafel like tacos. Mm -hmm. Like, we take the, the pita bread and we fold it in half like taco. 
and then we literally put like sour cream and, and shredded lettuce and hot sauce on it and we eat falafel tacos. Yeah, it is good, but I'd like to do something more, a little more, a little more homemade. Um, Jim Johnson says, for me, Taco Bell and most fast food price themselves out of my business. Seriously, the only one that's left that's still hanging on is McDonald's. You can, on the McDonald's app, you can get fat fed for five bucks. Oh my gosh. Where every other place, the soda is more expensive than all the stuff you get at the McDonald's. But yeah, I'm, I'm so disappointed in how expensive Taco Bell is that I don't even want, I just don't want it anymore. I'm so heartbroken. Literally the only thing that I can find is some lady for Cookmas Day 14 did Doritos Locos Tacos and Toasted Cheddar Chalupas. I feel like there's and something, it, it yeah. needs to be like some like toastery oven-y thing or something like that where it's not just in the oven oven. It's like, like I imagine it being a wire and folded over and it's crisping on the outside only. We can't show that. Um, unfortunately, the rules of the world make it so we can't show anybody else's videos on here without me getting in trouble. Yeah, the only thing I can find is somebody's YouTube and video. And that looks good. But yeah. Oh, wait, that looks pretty good like 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 that looks like what i think our best effort would be and this person is nailed the best effort. nailed the best effort so i don't think that we can achieve that and it still doesn't look right yeah there's literally nothing else that's the only thing is that one person's youtube video there's nothing else where anybody tried to replicate it <laughs> jim says let's not talk about you talk about mcdonald's and the crimes against humanity but <laughs> let's also talk about their amazing coca-cola Oh, you and, lines? and somebody Ronald it up back in the day. I never knew that. Someone shot up yeah, that week. We don't have to talk about that. That was horrible. That's public knowledge. Well, apparently not, because I didn't even know anything about it. <laughs> right? Okay, let's wrap this up. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think, I think we should wrap this up. Uh, the takeaway from this is it's good. Change the recipe. It's good. And let us know what kind of tzatziki sauce you, uh, you guys use so we can... Uh, know what to do for falafels um i don't know if if we're allowed to share the recipe or what's up we'll have to ask adrian so i don't know if we can get this recipe out there earlier so you guys can make it with us or what I'll crystal would adrian. definitely be heading this up so it's made correctly and i'll be helping i've never made it before i just got a recipe so I'll help. we always make it from a like a powder mix a powder you just mix, mix with right, water right, and right, you let right. it sit and then you ball it up so we're trusting adrian on this he said you know he works in restaurants he's this is the best recipe he's ever found in all his restaurant work so we're trusting him He's not even here to like defend it, but I'll talk to him this week and we'll we'll figure it out. And falafel's the plan for next mm -hmm. week. Yeah, one way or another, I yeah. think that'll that'll be that'll be fun. We'll try to do it up right. Maybe I will get some non zucchinis and put it in there. It's supposed to be when you get it at at the restaurant. It's like tomato and zucchini, cucumber. I'm sorry, cucumber. Yes, yeah. tomato, cucumber. Chocolate. I think that's it. An onion, maybe. Uh, onion maybe now? so. Maybe so. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do it up right. 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 So if he's like, oh no, don't go. You guys are keeping me. Saying during my rush to get my assignment and go, go, <laughs> go focus. focus. What are you doing? It's like, what is it, like noon or one o'clock over there tomorrow? Go focus. <laughs> so, okay, well, uh, everybody have a good night. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for having fun with us. Keep that target story on the down low. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Because, yeah, keep that keep that on, uh, on, the, on the down low. But, um, yeah, have a, good, have a good night. Look, I'll hit all the buttons. You guys can follow us at all these places. You guys know the rules. Thank you for the support. And we'll be back on Friday where Crystal is baking. Don't tell me. Hold on. Apple fritter? No. I don't remember what it was. It was a, a Danish? Yes. It's an easy cheese Danish <laughs> made with Pillsbury crescent rolls. Yes. And? Oh, you're making two things. And... Mm. I... Oh, and uh, cr crunchy bars. Copycat crunchy bars. Copycat crunchy bars. Okay. That'll be fun. Then is that going to be a full night of baking with all that stuff? The crunchy bars go really quick. It's a really quick thing. And then the chocolate dipping, which always takes forever, but that'll be at the end. So after we make the crunchy bar filling, we have nothing else to do. So we're making croissant danishes. Well, sounds and there good. a couple of pretty easy recipes I think people will like. A lot of people said they're going to bake along with us, so that'll be yes, fun. Yes, I did see Hopefully I did see I don't that. screw it up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys could try euros at some point. That is one thing I've never ever had, dude. There's a place in Palmdale, and one time I was at the bike shop. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go over there and try these gyro euro things, you know, whatever. So I go all the way to the next town, like 20 minutes away, and then it was just like closed today. It was just like it was just like it was like opa closed <laughs> closed. You know, whatever the guy's fishing off the boat or whatever. So I was like, okay. So I have I have never had the illustrious. Um, I hate the name uh, euro. But I don't know. I don't even know what's in them. It looks like a falafel to me, from what I, I can tell. I think it's just a meat, maybe a lamb. I don't know if there's options for meat, but oh. it's not, not something I would ever eat. Oh, meat. 
One Stevie Nicks special coming up. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next. <laughs> uh, we'll see you in 48 hours. Oh my gosh. Do good things and uh, let me know about that tzatziki sauce. I guess I should hit play on the songs before I get out of here. <sighs> Bye. Bye, Hannah. It's a Greek taco. Hmm. I'll have to try it. I'll have to try this Greek taco. You need euros from Chicago. One time, because I was in the airport in Chicago, was it a few months ago? No, wait, well, in September, I spent, dude, in September, I spent like three and a half or four hours at O'Hare. And I ate a Chicago dog and it was really good. It was really good. I spent, you should have came and visited me. I was there for like a half a day. <laughs> thanks for keeping me sane again. Oh, thanks for coming by. We miss you here in the chat. So, all right, that's it. Everybody uh, have a good night and I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Bye.